So the uh, tutorial kind of states everything you really need to know. Um, even how you can find your wayward animals or any animals or livestock that came with migrants that just entered the map. It is um, quite filled out here. I think this is one of the the areas of the tutorial that doesn't really need any more explanation as such. Um, what we can add perhaps, however, is that you need to make sure that you have enough feeders based on the size of your livestock. If you have 150 livestock, one hay feeder and one feeder trough will kind of not be enough. Yeah. So you need to, to add more per per amount of, of animals that you have. Uh, I normally with 100, 150 livestock have eight of each, eight hay feeders and eight feeder troughs. And I normally feed them either flax grains and I feed them uh, pine nuts. And if the hazelnuts are in huge amounts, then I feed them hazelnuts as well. But the utter majority of what I feed them is actually straw. If you're struggling with straw, you can go more over to some of the farm yield foods, such as the flax, if you like. There are other many ways to feed them and they will eat mostly everything that you have. You can see on the feeders when I create them that um, you have the option to basically place everything apart from a few things. They do not eat meat, obviously. They are not uh, carnivores. The wild boars and pigs could actually eat meat, though, because they are omnivores. They eat both. But none of your herbivores will eat any meat. So, yeah, let me see what this says here. Yeah, so we need to remember about the animals. We have the cows, we have the uh, goats, and those are the two uh, species you can milk. We have pigs, but pigs are for meat production only. So pigs also are omnivores, so they do not graze the same way as our herbivores do. So the herbivores, the cows and the goats, will graze out in nature most of the time, except during some time in the winter when there is too little green grass for them, then we need to feed them, yeah? But the pigs, they do not graze, so they need to be fed by us all the time, yeah? So you need to feed your pigs all year round. Let me see. So that is, uh, yeah, so whatever livestock you do not add to a herder group will not be milked and it will not be slaughtered when it turns old. It will instead live out its life in the wild and die from old age and then your strippers will just do like they do with all animals that are self dead. They will strip it and take the meat, the hide and the bones. So, yeah. Also, we need to feed in, almost said, fence in all the feeding areas or the feeding area if you only have one. Otherwise, you're, the wild uh, herbivores and whatever is gonna come into the area and, and eat the food that is in the troughs on the feeders. So we need to do that. But one step at a time. Let me see. How are we doing here? Yeah, they're doing good, aren't they? We, we were kind of quick um, getting stuff up. So, so as a rule of thumb, by the way, for any production building you have, this is production building, yeah? where they, you create stuff, you should always have uh, the tools or the materials they need to function close to them. So that, that kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, and you need to be on that. So with regard to, to farms, they um, the max farm is 210 cells. And you can count the cells. Uh, for instance, if you check out one that is done um, farming or done planting you will see 210 that means you've maxed out the cells you can get and this is also how you can easily find out what the yield is per crop type uh, i'm going to show you that as soon as we have our, our 210 farm filled at the moment we do not so we're going to get back to that let's see where were we so i'm going to close this one a little bit and see what stuff we have um, let me see. Yeah, so we've uh, just, um, we got plenty um, beets. So beets are normally a very high yield and wheat will be high yield because when you process it, process it you get one grain per two wheat sheaves and uh, a unit of flour creates 10 bread. To get one unit of flour, you need two grains. So that means four wheats of sheaves 
in the end grants ten bread. So it goes without saying that wheat is the ultimate economical winner with regards to the the input and what comes back to you as food. So uh, I would always use um, wheat farm as a high or having a high majority of those also because they grant uh, straw which is basically used as building and repair material for the utter majority of your houses the utter majority uh, some of you players like to have a mix of houses which is also a very good idea because then you are not pounding any one type of material so much i in the end would like to replace everything i have with round houses and the odd long house here and there because they look so cool and they can take 18 people but they do demand a lot more materials to be built and they do demand a little bit more to be maintained the best option for now in the game is always to take the majority of housing being round houses but we can't make those yet we are just being teased with that they are there yeah yep oh we have a lot of reed look at all the reed dude am i overproducing quack okay let's build more reed huts then I'm going to place the roundhouses closer to the water, I think, and also around um, a praying option. Our temple. Let's help them. Harvest. <laughs> Look how much harvest there is. It's because we've just moved here and these uh, resources are untapped, so we are in, in January and we still have honey. Look at them horses. They are pretty, aren't they? Right. Also, another change to the game is the graphics. So, we used to have the option of having several types of graphic settings like the the uh, I don't know I don't remember the name we could use pixel we could use full double quadruple and now we only have a uh, uh, we only have I don't know what do we have <laughs> we have nothing it's all gone we have no choice anymore they're taking it away and I think it is because players tend to use so many different ones that it lags the game and in order to get a better optimization they have removed it so everyone is the same for instance i like to have it on quadruple and high because i have a really good graphics card so uh, i i feel that the the quality of what we can see is lowered but not to a point where it's no longer nice yeah it does help the the uh frames per second or absolutely because i have now on average 68 between 40 and 68 fps up and down with this amount of people it does go lower though and i have a lot more things added so i have times i have it jumping down to two frames but it doesn't stay there just very varying back and forth on, on the uh, numbers but there's nothing i can't play with you know you don't have to play max speed all the time. What do you want to leave? Well, you have a fireplace or you have two of the bad grades. Look at how she's suffering from. Oops, how many? Did I not put down the workouts? I did. Yeah, you're on your own then. Sorry. If you want to leave, then leave. Okay, so we have. Um, how many of those do we have? 320. But have we built the straw hearts that we wanted to? Okay, there are there are more materials so we can just build more we can easily tear them down as we as we go along we don't have to have them forever you know so if we just get down as much housing as we can with the materials we have we are good the important part was to get started the farms so they are started and i'm happy about that so that is saved so that is good right let me see I'm going to show you a few tricks about how to get our ultra secure fence because there are some some stuff that happening to the fence that causes some livestock or animals at all to to go through 
um, I have seen um, a connection point that looked like it was connected, but it has like had like a small, small, tiny space where wild animals went through. But when we tried to cover it up or to, to cover it, it didn't work. It turned red, meaning that there was supposed to be a connection, but there were none. So what I do is um, I did. I found a workaround for that. So I'm going to show you when it's it's light how I do how I did it. So you can use this until um, it is 100% sorted. Um, I personally have not had this problem because I always force a connection over the first step. While many players just place it before the yellow, and then you might have this happen. It probably shouldn't, but it it still does. Let me see if I just make um a, a, any any so what i do if i have a fence here and then i have a small opening here like this so here is what i do with the gates so um normally you would like to place the, the gates before you place the fences but if you are wanting to secure 100 percent, just place your fences before you place your gates then place the gate over the first or even the second let's do the second we can do the second and then it goes like that you can see the yellow is connect and the green is where they have access they don't need a huge space they just need any access to go through yeah i should probably put them a bit further away that is uh, up to you how far away you want them but this is now 100 percent secure so you can you can do that if you like and remember that you need to check your fences if you place them in wooded areas or hilly areas hilly areas can tend to create uh, small cracks that animals can get through and also if you go too much into the water it is not secure in any of the corners you are then making where are you guys going feeding what are you eating you better not be eating my clams and my fish seriously i don't like that they are um feeding on fish and clams i have to admit i do not like that but it is what it is yeah, so that's our secure fencing. I'm going to show perhaps some more as well um, when we build the uh, feeding areas. At the moment, we don't need a feeding area because everything is out in the open. All food, all the hay is out in the open. They can just go, go around the camp and take whatever they like. So what I am going to do, though, is to get some system now. I'm going to place down some proper storage areas. I will probably do it around here. I make them fairly big now because we're going to stay here, aren't we? We have no intentions of keeping on migrating now that we have uh, farms. Because we are into the Neolithic timeline and this is where we plan to stay. Let's just get down plenty here. And I would like Okay, so definitely going to put uh, um, tools and weapons that people use all the time fairly close. That one kind of needed a bigger one, didn't it? If I want to put bone knives, because we have tons of bone knives, do we not? Yeah, a gazillion. up against the stone okay so the smaller ones these small ones here are for things that we don't have much of so I put uh, the raw, fine raw stones and of course the field cores here because we don't harvest many of those there's no need right so let's get down these Oh no, I can't remember what I wanted to place down. <laughs> I 
Did I put? I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. Let's get some of the tools here. Don't really have those anymore but in case we lose some fishing on the way uh, during the neolithic um, we tend to not have too many hunters or too many fishermen because we are relying so much on the uh, cultivated yield the farmlands so sometimes we do lose a bit of levels in those uh, knowledges because we don't really keep them up do we so it goes without saying really yeah um so these guys are now going to tidy stuff away. Oh wait, did I not turn down the production of the uh, um, other materials? Crikey, I didn't, did I? I did, but they brought with them everything. It's only on 10. It should be. Not higher. So yeah. Oh, for a moment I thought I'd forgotten it. Let's uh, chill a bit on the on the uh, reed. We can probably go a little bit higher on um, on this style. Right, let's see. What do we have? Do we have? Nope. We do not have... Where are the... Uh, am I blind? The lumber mill is not even showing. That's weird. Because I was looking for lumber mill. Lumber mill we can uh, use to get wooden planks. For instance, if we get a clay container but doesn't have a, but don't have a lumber mill, we can't make... Uh, Clay container, so we have to wait. That's fine. It is what it is. Let me see. Let's chuck down one here. I'm going to put one in the animal enclosure as well. How many stones do we have? Okay, so what about the graves? Who are building graves? Not you. Are you guys building graves? Let's have a look. Oh, I wonder if I put them on uh, tribe responsibility. And now I can't remember where I put them. Yeah, let's have a look and see if we can find them in the tribe list. <laughs> da, 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 da. There they are. Let's have a look where they are. Right, right next to me. Okay, so I, I'm going to leave these as they are. And then I'm going to focus on the, the nice ones. The nice graves. Um, over here, somewhere else, a bit more nice. Only those to start with. We don't need a ton. And these guys are also going to create the uh, religious structures as well, the men here and the temples and stuff. But not yet. Look at look at all look at all the animals. Look at all the animals. Oh my word. Crikey. Okay, let's uh, let's get the building done before we do more. Look at them go. Tilling. We 
we have enough uh, for everyone for all the farms to be done you can see they've added um, a tally and what needs to get done and the amounts that needs to get done so this is really good you can see this one is fluctuating fluctuating up and down because as they are tilling planting becomes available and as they're planting they're going down but the tilling is making it grow up and the planting then is making it go down so it's uh, back and forth back and forth and you can see here how much has been done 9900 they're quite efficient little bugs aren't they they don't waste a lot of time so this one will be uh, 119 when they're done because I've taken one away. Oh, this is the one. This is all for beets, isn't it? So here's the thing with regards to saving seeds or uh, making sure that your containers that are the ones where you keep your seeds for the next farming for the next planting are saved and not being taken out is that you have the highest priority on this produce on the container that is locked down for seeding while the next one coming next to be put the produce in has a lower priority that means that they will always go to the one with the highest priority first but here is a little snag that it still needs to be worked on they don't always fill it to the max if they do yeah that's fine but they don't always do it if you have a lot of these uh, storage facilities with this food type uh, as an assignment they tend to want to divide it very equally on everyone so i tend to not have too many but i have them in large quantities instead like a storehouse then I'm fairly certain every time that my seed storages are always being filled to the brim before they move on. Whatever works for you is good, but this is how I like to do it. So just keep uh, keep in mind that the low priority you, ha you have on the uh, secondary storage options, the less likely they are to go and put anything in them first. They will always go to the ones with the highest priority. Yeah. You can probably also grade the priorities, like if you want this one to be the second one after that, you can probably put it on this option, the second highest. I normally have them all equally in neutral and only one of them really high. So that is a good thing. So with this pathfinding thing, as far as I understood, they are using multiple core something something that I don't remember to make uh, the tribe more efficient. And you can see on the tribe that they don't hang around as much. They tend to be fairly quick in getting stuff done. Like sometimes when they uh, stop to to find a new pathway or rethink their path. They do it a lot quicker because before, for instance, some of the hunters every now and then could stay around for hours just swinging their spear around and kicking the ground and not doing anything before they went to do the work. And this has been so improved now. It's really good. Really, really good. So the game is improving bit by bit all the time. Let me see. You, this one is 210. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to let them finish this one. How many are there? 36 yeah i'm gonna let them finish this batch and then i'm going to um pause it because they won't do anything with wheat shaves unless they are uh, threshing them that's the only thing you can do with the wheat sheaves they aren't being used for anything and the animals will not eat them either so i'm just going to wait till uh this batch here is done the one of 36 and then i'm going to pause these as we are going along we should just place down as much housing as we can we're going to to tidy up in these things afterwards when we have um long ha uh, long houses and round houses but then we're going to do it a little bit more pretty uh, i don't always go by actually i rarely go by beauty at all when i do any testing because it's a bit of a waste because i have to leave my tribes behind very often and you know when new patches come out they uh, you can't play on old patches because that could create what we call um 
old save a new patch bug so it is better to always start a new tribe this is also why i often have issues with creating really big tribes because we get new patches and then have to start all over again but that's fine that is fine totally acceptable so how far are we going with that okay so that one has 207 you have 210 excellent and you have 210 but i'm going to test the um let me see the uh, where's the other one okay so this one is done the flax has all been done i'm going to oh no there's one left let me see when are they going to be harvested okay they have a little bit to go a few days more to go before they're being harvested and the beets no the the wheat is being harvested um right before the where are they these so those are 207 you guys have 208 there's a few uh, areas here that has not been planted i don't know why though uh, well they will probably be planted next time there should be 219 and this one also has fewer areas than it should have so there are a few of these that has not been planted i see a few with my bare eyes my own eyes okay it happens i guess it's quite realistic isn't it right so how many are left now you still have one you have none so i'm going to put these on pause so now when they are harvesting all the wheat we can get a full tally oh no there's eight left that was me being blind we can get a full tally of how many wheat sheaves did this farm this maxed out farm produce this year remember that temperatures can make the the yield uh, a little bit different from year to year but all in all, the, the yield differences are not really big. Sometimes they are a little bit big, though, like uh, a several hundred, actually. But um, that also depends on how many farms you have. If you have uh, 10 farms of the same uh, crop type and you have a bad yield, losing 400 out of the usual 1,000, you know, it's because you have 10. Otherwise, you would lose 50, you know. So, yeah need to consider that as well before we say the yield is really bad because uh, it's not super high amounts we are losing so i'm quite okay with with a little bit okay eight of those how many of the others 21 come on guys get going do i not have any uh tanners i do uh, but i only have two you can see that the uh, amount of fur of the, the raw hide is quite high so if i'm smart i should actually place a few more down just to get them done otherwise they are wasted there you go it is safe and sorry right so that's um how many are lacking now quite a bit 68 percent. that's a lot that's a lot of lack isn't it right both tultanas are up and this one's down to six and the other one has quite a way to go 11 no not that bad they're fairly quick but i will add more um, threshers when we have more leather we just need to make sure that we have enough to repair these do we have anyone for these no they're lacking one aren't they such <laughs> it's just poor. bad 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 i normally like to fence in all of these as well all the uh, storage areas but it's not like the animals are going to eat any of them they don't even eat the reed one would think they would chomp on the reed as well when I mean, they are chomping on on the grass the straw maybe not a bit hard aren't they a bit hard to to chomp on Yeah, look at all the unhappy faces. Let me see. Are you guys uh, praying with the little one? They like the food. Yay. That's nice. Yeah, they like the food. Well, you see, everyone who has the highest amount of unhappiness or unrest will often be those with the bad grades. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't necessarily mean you're playing bad, you know, but they have these predispositions to be very whingy. To be complaining a lot look at this poor dude he's both hesitant 
and weak and slow. Slow doesn't really do anything. You won't really see a lot of effect on your tribe with a few of them being a bit slow or dumb. It is when they are all slow and dumb that you will see effect. <laughs> Right, so why are you guys not getting done with this? Get it done. You can see that the byproduct, which is straw from threshing the uh, wheat sheaves, are placed here. Just get it built bit by bit. It's it's quite uh, okay to to not stress too much about the building of houses in beginners, because if you do have fireplaces, they tend to be, um, of course, whining that they want better, but they won't leave you as quickly as they will in hardcore. So I'm not going to stress too much. I'm going to add as we have um, materials and just keep it constant that they are constantly building but not so much that they are stressing with it and not finishing anything so I'm adding one and one one for my builder group and one for the tribe okay so we are lacking a grave how many did they add here okay this one is almost done lacking just a few stones then this one will become available and the other ones were down here somewhere no here they are yeah they are full so no, that, that one is free as well now okay so that don't need to stress about those I'm just gonna leave them oh these are almost ready to be uh, harvested and this, these guys are now ready to harvest and I have how many do I have left three so I need to do minus three pause these are only two left as soon as this one is done come on thresh them thresh them and pause right now we will get the count so um, less than one that's fine and the other one is was it three it was yeah we need to detract take away three from the final count on the flax sheaves so let's just have them um, harvest first you don't like bone well, it's not the bone you're eating, you're scraping out the food inside. He says he's bothered and he hopes things get better. They will get better, I promise. Just hang in there. Oh, we have a new leader. Can't really change a lot though. I'm going to leave it as it is. Do I have too little food incoming? Hmm. eat up those first. Uh, I need to save um, for the next harvest. So 107 they're not done so beginners will always have a very good yield I think the average on beginners is over 0 0.8 0 .8. so that is quite good so you will need a lot less farms to to keep 200 people alive than you will for instance on hardcore where everything is just out to kill you everything is trying to kill you as best as they can <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's fun though if, if you feel that you have a fair grasp of the mechanics and that you have a, a fair success in the game you should go to hardcore and get some real challenge what I also do at times is just I stay beginners to for basic therapy just relaxing in the evening you know not too much thinking just seeing my my little ants run along being happy building projects 
planning my next big project and stuff like that. Let me see, they're now up to two. No, that's a straw. <laughs> I was looking at straw. <laughs> that won't do, Lily. Okay, so 116. We still got plenty to go. Oh, actually, duh, to get a more correct number, I need to remove these two. Mm -hmm. Just making sure I don't have them anywhere else. There you go. Now they won't harvest them from the wild to ruin our numbers. So the uh, the beets had a good yield. They yielded uh, over 230, or approximately 230, I think. So considering that there was 208 of those, but so if we do um, if we calculate uh, the yield per plot, if we do 200 and no, how many men did we get? We got. 230, just say 230, and then you divide them on the plots that was there, which was 208, you will have an average yield of 1.1. So that was a re this is a really good year for beets. Beets did really well this year. So that is the average plot yield of this year. It could be changed next year, it could be less. Not likely going to be a lot more. It's more likely to creep down to between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. But uh, yeah, we had a good year. So I'm happy about that. Let's see what you guys got. You have a cow. A cow. Oh, a baby cow. I'll take it. And then we're going to make a wedding group for cows. Ta-da. And then we're going to use what we have learned to go find the cow. Drive page, go down to livestock, highlight the animal and double click the portrait and we are being taken to where the cow is. See when I when I pause when I pause <laughs> the animal is in the ground. Look, 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 and then I'm gonna go there. Poof <laughs> I quite like that. That is cool. <laughs> These are the poof livestock. <laughs> The Abacadabra! Gone one second, here the next. <laughs> I quite like that, I must admit. Let me see. So, yeah, so now we've done those, then we can let them be threshed. Because now we have calculated. No, we haven't calculated those. We calculated the beets. Let me see. We had 210 on these, and these are now done. And the full count is 178. So we have 178, and then we. Um, divided by 210 which was the count of the cells and then we have a final um, average yield of 0 0.85 and this is good yeah this is the the average for for a, a good year in beginners so now we can open it up I didn't detect it detracted three but that's fine it's still a roughly 0 0.84 85 plus minus a little bit Probably very little. Let me have a look at. Okay, so now we have the wheat being um, planted, uh, harvested. Now we're going to see what they are in the end. What is this? Is this a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's um blackberry bush, same as this one. They are about to come in season now. Look, 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 see the berries? They look a bit flat though. But they are also red. Look, they're not only black, they're red. Or is that the color they are before they are um, mature, perhaps? No, I think they're. They're black all the time. Cool. So we have blackberries and raspberries. Mm -hmm. But they all go under the, the, the big name of, you know, berries. Strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. Yeah. So how much do we have? 147. Oh, there's still people lacking graves. Oh, we're lacking two now. Okay, let's go and add a few more of the good ones, I think. 
I can find where they are. There you are. There you go. So let's uh, see how they're doing with building what I ordered them to build. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're going to ask them to build more. You guys are doing another uh, readout. If I can click right. That would help a lot. <laughs> so nice. Right, and then we're going to ask Tribe to do another one. Just make sure, no, we're going to wait till that one does not need repair anymore. I do not want to take away too many people because we already have um, the harvesting going on. Plus, I see that these now will be needing repairs. So there will be plenty of people to, uh, to do whatever. Almost. Two left. What are we at? 174. Come on, get the last one. Oh. Roughly 175. They don't want to do the last one. Oh, there you go. Now, let's see what the count is yeah still 175 okay so let's do 175 then we divide it on how many was there it was 220 wasn't it so do what it on divide it on 220 210 oh my god then you get 0 0.83 so that is the average yield per cell on the wheat farms so this is good and if we now think um how this actually works out with regards to the end product when you have processed everything you need to do for every two sheaves you get one grain and two grains are needed to produce one unit of flour one unit of flour will produce 10 breads right so let me see so 175 divided by two divided by two <laughs> times 10 we will actually get 437 bread from this batch yeah so this is very economical very economical the thing is it economical with regards to the yield the final yield with regards to workforce mm -mm, not so much because you first have to do the threshing then you have to do the milling then you have to do the baking this takes, first of all, lots of materials, then it takes uh, workforce. And yeah, so it goes without saying that it's not like super duper economical with regards to everything that we need to calculate. But uh, in general, it, it gives um, a lot more food. And uh, that's that's just the way it is. So I need to do one of these at a time because we only have, is it 250 we have? Yeah, we have 249. Yep, good. Let me see how much uh, fiber. We have 46 fiber. That means I should place down some for. Um, there you go. For the flour. People will probably eat up the bread quickly. So I don't need a storage area for, or option for that yet. But I will, I will work on that because we need everything, don't we? We need to get down everything. Also, what is smart to do is to make sure that your animals are not too close to your farms. Because they tend to want to go eat the... Um, the, the grains from the threshers and they also tend to follow their um, herders wherever they go and that also means unfortunately that they will follow them into the fields and I don't particularly like that so I'm going to make in I'm going to use the um, this group here just give them a few more people to work so we don't take the entire tribe because I'm going to make all of the fence in one go it doesn't have to be huge you know, it doesn't have to be 
from here to Timbuktu. We just need to, to cover for the animals you have at the moment. And you know, we can just add or take away or do whatever we want with regards to size at a later point. But we need to start somewhere, right? And we need also, of course, gates for the animals. So oh, there you go. Now they can work on that. Oh, I didn't need to put the uh, gates to their control. I can put them back to tribe. There you go. Now that was back to tribe. Okay. Right, so the, the groups I have for assigning up, um, or for doing the, the, the huts and, and the graves and the fences and stuff, they are now super busy. So I'm going to leave those alone for a bit. See how we are doing. Um, okay, there are four now. Okay, I need to make a few of the common ones to just get away some of the dead because, yeah, nothing pisses people more off than not having graves. They don't like that in the slightest. So I'm just going to make a few extra. As we get um, the better graves or even the, the grave uh, tombs or the passage tombs, we can remove some of these common common ones and just leave a few for the beautification and then, you know, add benches and have some, some torches. My torches are doing great, by the way. They last forever and I have zero intention of changing that. <laughs> I'm going to leave them. You might claim that they are actually bored, not working as intended, but hey, this is a mod. You know, at least I'm not using the mods that will alter the game. You can see what mods am I using. I don't even know what I'm using. Oh, I'm only using one for now. Okay. Probably because I'm doing so much testing, I can't have too much butting in. Butting into any results that I get. Let me see. I should really, really get up dryers. I need to do that. So, um, we can have these two. There you go, and there you go. And I do want to place down some more uh, baskets to keep the raw produce in. There you go. We're probably going to add more as well. Uh, let me see my cows and goats. Oh! She has, she has, she has a baby incoming. <laughs> nice. You still, you still do not really have enough on hardcore to maintain. Oh gosh, now they're leaving. They're, now they're pissed off. I mean, it's 11 years. They demand more. Oh, they're leaving because the, uh, yeah, we don't have graves. Mm, we had that coming. Well, we're working on it. Working on it, but it is what it is. We do have a lot of people, but this is the uh, collateral damage effect where other family members are leaving because another one left. Yeah, it is what it is. Let them leave. It's fine. Sometimes the sound sounds like there's two songs on top of each other. Uh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you're doing those. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So look at you guys. You have a pig. I'll take the pig. And we click the pig. Double click and come to where it is. Then we're going to create a herder group for pigs. So these are the ones that demands less work. Because you don't milk these, you just raise them for the for the meat, and that's it. So then we click a sign and hover over the pig, and ta-da, the pig is now in this group. So one of the things that I have noticed um, kind of has been going on forever, really. At times, some of the uh, animals, the livestock that come, does not bother with going into camp. And if if those livestock are, uh, for instance, uh, female goats or cows that needs to be milked on a regular basis, you have that they sometimes do not get milk because it's too far to walk for the herders. So I have, we've told, I think several people have told the devs that they need to force them to come into camp. See, this cow is still out here, even though we got her a while ago. 
But the good thing about this is that when winter comes, they won't stay. They will go into uh, camp to get food. So they will eventually come. But while we wait for them to come, not everyone can reach them to milk them. So, yeah. So these are all leaving now because one person left. This is the uh, effect. Yeah, and also like I told you earlier, when two people die, you will have two two lines of it. Can you see? It's not only one dead relative, it's two. So each have 25. So this dude has 100. This girl has 102. 102 on wrist. <laughs> well, at least now you're being shown exactly how bad it can go, even on beginners. If you don't get up those stupid graves. Stupid? Yeah, how are the other going? Well, where are they? I don't remember where I put them. Christ. Oh, those are the ones. Uh, and then you have the beats, yeah. Well, they're doing it as fast as they can. Listen to the music. It sounds like several are on top of each other. And it kind of goes away when you go a bit lower. And then it like really stumbles on top of each other when you play on third. Let's do fourth. No, it's like third and another third is on top of each other. Can you hear it? That's really weird. I already told the devs that there is some sound issues. I think they've sorted some of them, but I don't think they managed to get them all because um, I think we are the proof of that <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so oven, get up the oven, otherwise the wheat is not economical in the slightest. So these are... So when you see this number here, this is because this is the reseeds from the farmland because they spread. They will spread. On the, on the farm and outside of the farm as well. It goes for everything you have. This one has receded three times. This one has not receded. And this has done once. So the beets are, are very eager on receding. Okay, so now we have those. And how this one's going? Okay, they're almost finished that one. Okay. Let's see how many are lucky houses now. Still, okay, so now we've gone down some percentages. Well, it's it's at least going down, isn't it? At least. Well, they are not leaving because they don't have proper house, and they're leaving because several of their family members have died, and I do not have enough graves. That is the, the big thing, isn't it? Those are the 25 plus the 25 that are being added. Of course, but this is also what I talked about earlier, about the combination of unrest. Let me see um, where is unrest. There it is. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't say that you need to be careful with the combinations or what the combinations are. But we've already talked about those. And any combination is never a good thing. And if people have either high will or they have um, the bad grades of will or fitness, they could leave very very soon. They could leave already on sixty or even fifty, depending on their will. So uh, it's very individual. It's difficult to to always estimate when people are losing their patience and leaving, but some can leave already at 50, while others go up to like 80 before they leave. So it's just individual per tribe. Let's see, yeah, the husbandry is fairly straightforward, yeah? There's not a lot to, to wonder about. A lot of it is self-explanatory and fairly logic. You feed them, you keep them, um, you know, you have a place for them to, to be inside a fence or an enclosure. You give them food that they have access to all time. And, uh, you know, let them have their kids. Let them be in peace most of the time. Yeah. And just add them to groups. You don't have to create even three groups. You can just create one even. But I, I create uh, one of each on beginners because the amounts you can get of the animals can be so high that you don't have enough uh, work spots in the group to fill all the needs so when you are um, losing out on milk on some of your species then it's time to divide the the species between each other so that one group takes care of goats one takes care of cows etc etc 
Uh, the fencing part, yeah. Yeah. Um, the uh, um, the devs are saying that the best way to start building is the main gate before the other segments. Um, in principle, I would agree to that. But in practice, it doesn't always work out as well because the um, fence sections, they are not budging on their size. So sometimes you go over the gate and sometimes it collides with the gate and still gives red. So the best thing to do is use a gate in the end if you have to, if you want to because first of all you are securing the fence a little bit better when you eat a bit more of the fence with the gate and also because the gate will not show you red it will show that if the as long as there is one small opening the fence will or the gate will always be placeable see um so no matter how little it is it will work and fences, you know, I can't stand when you build a fence and suddenly you have less space left than a full fence section. I can do, you can do nothing about it. You have to stop your entire fence and do it all over again. You don't have to do that if you take the gates last. Then complete your fence, put all the fence sections you want and then place the gates. Whether it's a bit on top or a little bit more on top, it doesn't matter. And we also have these uh, lovely gates. You can see the uh, proper gate doors, can't you? You can't miss the entrance and it's easy to see. Very easy to see. So um, the mechanics of how to place a fence is not really hocus pocus. Hold, you click once on left to start it. If you just want a straight line, you don't click anything else. You just drag it out with your mouse. You don't have to hold it. You just click once and then you drag it. You don't have to hold the mouse button down. If you want to change direction, you click where you want to start your ch your change of direction and then you change direction and you do this for every time you want to change direction if you don't click then it will go on forever yeah if you want it the way it is now you double click the left mouse button if you regret you click the right mouse button once and that's basically all it has to it yeah we've already done trading and rating haven't we look at that one Look, look, look at, look at the price of that one, seriously. So expensive. Let's see if we can uh, torture a few more. These guys have, no, don't want that. They have that, I don't want that. Which one was it that, that was so hard to do that one? Oh, they've changed their, uh, no, it was this one. No, it was that one. They've changed their uh, stock. They do change their stock. They have things we do not need. I wouldn't mind, um getting some extra we don't need food we have tons of food we basically don't need to to steal anything do we well i say that now but things could pretty quickly go titty up and then we will need it okay so now we've gotten more graves down so people have stopped leaving for that reason at least <laughs> that's a good thing we were 177 oh why are we 183 now okay yeah, didn't really notice that. We didn't lose anything in, in uh, skills either, did we? Not that I can see with my eyes. Right, and our oven is ready. That means we can now get bread and suddenly wheat is worth it. Good. So we have kind of gone over the, the tutorial of basically everything that you need to know, plus minus a little bit. There is no way that I've remembered everything. Absolutely no way. Um, so I will see if I can try to remember it as we go along. And I also told, told you how to calculate your yield. And now we need to calculate how much um, can one farm feed your people. What we've seen now is that a wheat farm grants over 400 bread when the yield is good. So 175 uh, wheat will grant roughly 400 bread. And that means in a tribe of ours, almost 200, that is... <laughs> It's, it's not much. <laughs> uh, tribe of 180, if we check the children and the elder, so it will be roughly 120 food max per meal. So that is 240. 240 per day. So basically per year they will need 4,800. But since it's not all made in one go, we need to calculate that they need to eat other stuff as well. So um, having uh, roughly four, four wheat farms and a few more uh, beet farms, perhaps another pea farm, should keep you well fed. 
because the yield from these farms are, are really, really nice. So if we just do the round number 200 and then times it with the, or the food they will be eating is 200 every time. So it's two meals per day. So that's 400. And then you time it by, you know, by 12 months. So, yeah. So it's a lot of food. You can make those rough calculations. Uh, I would like to myself make them more precise. So I take away, um, we have roughly a hundred of these that are young and elders. So it will only be roughly 90 of these that will eat full units. The rest will eat 50 units. So if we, I will calculate roughly between 130 and 150 for this amount of people in the tribe. Then, of course, the calorie counts as well. So the bread will have very high calories compared to everything else that is being um, made from the cultivated uh, farms. So that also is a big plus that you have high calorie rich foods and people will then eat less because there's so much calories in it. So it does uh, it does have a, a very high economical plus if you, you go for the, the wheat farms. And also livestock, the, the cheese and the milk is high calorie. So it's a good idea to do that as well. Yeah, let's place down a few more of these. So what I'm going to do when I build these is I'm going to plan out the uh, longhouses along with the, the um, religion I want. So I wanted to put it over here, but there are so many of the food types here. I think I'm going to have to move it a little bit away. Maybe I should do it over here. How much do we have here? Um, no, this looks okay. Because the other place has a, had a lot of um, beehives, didn't it? I don't want to ruin those. We want this one for sure. I don't like it to be completely straight. So I do this. But we want it... Not with you guys, sorry. Not with you. But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait till they're done with the grave chores and the um, fencing around the animal's uh, enclosure. So I'm just going to plan it for now and that's it. I do like these wooden posts. I just hope we get to keep them quite long. And these are all going on pause as well. They don't have to go on pause, but we don't need to build them yet because there's no point. I'm going to let them finish their work that they're doing already before I give them more. Otherwise, nothing will kind of get done, will it? Six people dividing themselves on four million tasks. And this one can be built as well. I didn't mean to go to that, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, it's because I've Post those who had the same condition. Okay then. So it goes by condition, not by by type. Okay then. Good to know. Yep. Let's do the dryer. I have too much food. Why do I have so much food here? Did I? Yeah, I need to turn down my hunters. Okay. So those are the ones I want there. And then I need to stay within 20 meters when placing down these. Is that 20 meters? It's too, too rich, isn't it? There you go. It was too much, wasn't it? <laughs> A little bit too much. No, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Have it, you go directly to the priorities. Although that's not what you wanted to do. <laughs> you know, you, you just work on automatic. So that's what you normally do, isn't it? At least that's what I normally do. Okay, so I'm gonna, now those are done. That also means that I, in theory, can start planning 
the roundhouses that I want around them. Not too close though. So these four for now. Uh, but not all of them in one go. So this one, if I had enough uh, mud, I would have built immediately, but I do not. So what I'm going to do is to change the um, amounts in the group that is gathering these to 750, which is what they need to uh, to build a um, round house. right that's still okay but now we're not going to do actually we're going to do only maintenance to, i'm going to put some 100 150 for maintenance because we have a few don't we we have one two three we have five yeah so we need at least 150. okay yeah As soon as I can see the longhouses, I'm going to place those or start planning where to put them. Um, I normally like to put them, at least when I'm on the coast of Spain, I like to put them close to the water because I find it so cool. Look at all the fish! You know why there's so much fish? Because we are not really fishing a lot, are we? And one thing that not many are aware of, the um, environment will respond to your tribe size. So if you move here with 200 people, you will have the option to harvest food for 200 people instead of a set number like it used to be before. So this is why you can, for instance, when you start in a miso tribe, you see like four fishing pools. When you come with 200, you have a lot more. This goes for absolutely everything in the game of all flora and all fauna also the food that you're not eating food that you're not eating also the things that you're not eating such as the heaps of stones the heaps of mud or the trees you use for for logs etc everything is um, responding to your tribe size and if you stay the same area as say you start at seven the mesolithic and play for five years and you have 50 people then your environment will have changed to accommodate 50 people so this is quite ingenious i have to say so so it's not like the environment stays the same this part of the thing that i really really like about this game is that it's fluent it will uh, change as the years go by and i think that is so cool really cool it helps a lot doesn't it because if you stay if you land in one place and you have food for your population which is you know in Mesolithic you're probably seven or fourteen and then if you stay there for ten years there's no way that uh, th that uh, environment will manage to keep you alive you know when you have five times more people so it is a really good move that they did it this way so uh, yeah I quite like that let's uh, start getting some other groups as well we need a bit of the plant produce or the ones that will give us uh, plant produce in the farms and also of course mud yeah <clears throat> can uh, see I probably should up this one as well good 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 yeah those are fine yeah 750 is what you need for a uh, roundhouse so this is good just keep it like that just need more people to do the work and you will have to go a little bit up me thinks yeah to keep up with all these straw huts and stuff they are going to be you know replaced with uh, roundhouses and eventually a longhouse too but for now we need to use the reed huts and the the big straw huts yeah they are not economical at all because when you need to repair a straw hut you need 180 straw that is insane so if it's only for as a temporary thing that we use the big straw huts, they are going to be replaced with the round houses, which is a million times more economical. Takes more people as well. Has higher sleep service. It has the highest sleep service of any of the um, housing we have in in the game. Even beats the long house. The long house is nineteen percent, while the uh, round house is thirty. 
longhouse takes like two times more or more people than the roundhouse, but it is a lower in sleep service quality. But not so much that it actually is it's making a huge difference in the game. It's not. It, it is minor. And you can see it if you are one of those players that like to torture your tribe, you know, like to keep high work hours, like to perhaps give them only bad food. You don't let them eat as they want, you know, then you can have these uh, uh, high quality housings to help reduce even more um, unrest because the longhouse will only uh, appease 19% compared to long, the roundhouse, which is 30%. So it has a use, you know, it has a difference if you are playing in a different play style than, for instance, I am doing at the moment, because at the moment I'm rather lenient, even though I'm not really lenient on the work age. And the uh, work hours are, are very fluent. They are up and down, really depending on what, what what we're doing basically and that's all there is to it. Let's get some of these uh, foods that are out in the open, some proper storage areas, stop, proper storage facilities. Uh, let me see, because when it lays out in the open it is uh, free to eat for all, all uh, animals, both your own livestock and also uh, wild animals. So that should do it for a bit. Get a few of those as well. Raw fish, raw meat. Should probably place down for a finished project as well. And even more to hold at least uh, raw meat. Because we're going to get a lot. We, we are getting started now with the livestock and the animals in the locality. is already in high amounts. Because in beginners, they are so ma so many when you start somewhere that you, you're basically being run down by by wild animals. So just get we need to just get hunting going and try to keep the population of at least wild boars down to a basically zero in the area. That's never going to happen because we can't we can't spend 28 people just to hunt boars. But uh, it will keep the the numbers to to a certain level so it don't go completely haywire because they will eat everything in your wild you know they will eat all your fruits in the wild they will eat absolutely everything they can come across in the wild so those are the ones you really need to be on the lookout for to keep under control with regards to the the uh, prey size or the size of their flocks so yeah okay that's a basket done so keep that in mind if you're going to focus on a species it should be the wild boars um, besides that they, they give you bacon of course we need bacon bacon is a must for most people not for everyone <laughs> it's fine it's fine we are different it's all good and uh, let's see you are going to get some of the uh, produce that we need f to feed our livestock as well, which is pine nuts, which is great to feed the livestock with. Let's do a bit of adjusting on the groups. Let's see what they are doing. So this is the thing with tribe growth. You are constantly adjusting your groups. Let's get uh, one of these big storehouses for for the hazelnuts because we're going to need it aren't we because we're going to get uh, fairly large volumes to supplement uh, livestock food and also to fall back on ourselves if food does get low it shouldn't in in um, beginners it shouldn't really go low you just need to make sure that you put set up your groups to get a hold of the food you know yeah let's uh, change name on the on the tribe, only took me 12 years to realize I've forgotten it. So I'm using Cardis because Cardis is, uh, as far as we know, one of the oldest cities. Uh, it's the oldest uh, coastal city in Spain. And we are in Spain and we are by the coast. So so there goes. Okay, so let's get the, uh, 
the piggies. Oh, uh, the group says pig. It should really say pigs. Because it's not like we're going to have a pig. We're going to have pigs. <laughs> Hasty writing. So, yeah, we're going to tidy up in these uh, these huts um, as we build the roundhouses and remove them. Because there's no way I can keep up a gazillion um, big straw huts and a gazillion reed huts, big reed huts as the millennia passes by because the diminishing effect will make that impossible so then we we are forced to be economic with regards to the material we are using as uh, maintenance or repair materials for our housing and basically everything so um the waste or being frugal with everything in your mouth becomes extra critical when you've lived there for like two to three decades so you will see that uh, after 30 years or even a bit before, depending on this locality, uh, how, how well stocked it is. It could be a very bad seed, you never know. You could end up with having your groups going to Team Book 2 to get the same amount that they got outside your doorstep 10 years ago. So yeah, it really depends on the uh, area and the seed of the locality because you can be really lucky in one seed and have um, a good regrowth and quite a lot close to your camp and then you get another seed which is uh, a million times worse and you have to walk forever to get the same amount of materials that you got uh, 15 years ago so yeah we, we need to think about that as the decades go by because there's no doubt if you are going to have between 200 and 300 people in your tribe and you are staying put in the same locality you will have issues with your materials, especially those that go in large volumes and constantly, which is sticks and straw. Those are the two materials that you will use the absolute most. So you need to, in the end, have full groups and even support groups to still keep up with at least the straw. Yeah. So what is also smart to do is uh, build a mix of houses, like uh, we've said before, if you have a mix of houses with regards to the building material, there is less strain on any one type of material. So we are going to have quite a few pelt tops as well, because we can see already with so many animals, there will be a lot of leather left over. So instead of wasting all of those, we can either trade them away or we build pelt huts. And since we have so many of the better quality housing, there will be a nice rotation in who sleeps where to a point where nobody will manage to build enough unrest to actually want to leave or reduce their workload or work less. So that there is some system in the madness. One would think that one would always go for the only the very best, but if your locality is poor with regards to some of the materials you need to keep up only the best quality, you have to compromise with the environment. You have no choice. You can argue all you like, the environment will win. So you need to dance around to make it happen. The environment will do nothing for you. Yeah, even though it's beginners, it will not help you at all. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> There is a limit to how much you can have, you know. You can't have 700 people and, and 150 straw houses. It's just not going to work. So, yeah, mix up the materials. I'm just going to give up on reed in the end because reed is something I always have issues with um, because uh, they start well and they harvest well. And then after 10, 15, perhaps 20 years, no, none of them goes for reed anymore. I can see it growing, but they don't go for it. So yeah, the, the devs needs to be made aware of that. Because it t does take away an okay alternative to straw, doesn't it? Which we are desperately needing the longer we are staying. So yeah, need to be a bit careful there with uh, not reporting these things. Because if, if you constantly see that you are lacking reed, even on beginners, then the devs will uh, accommodate you and, and give you more read. Because you're supposed to learn the game, not struggle with the game on beginners. Everything is supposed to be in tenfolds compared to hardcore. If we want struggle, we will go to hardcore. And yeah, so I'm going to let the devs know. Let me see, what are you lacking? Okay. 
Okie dokie. It's got a bit of bounce for you then. I guess we could also steal those, couldn't we? We can we can raid. We're gonna do more raiding, of course. We're gonna do a lot of raiding and trading and, and trading first and then raiding and then you know unsuspectingly jump on them. Yeah. Oh, I see the storehouse, it's almost ready. Since you guys have so much to do, you can be unlimited on the bones. You will get a little of everything. So yeah, finding new people, rule number one, in any tribe size, put limits on everything. If you have a, a, a maxed out group with work spots and you have tons of tasks, you can get away with not having limits. I don't necessarily think that's something that beginners should always do. I think beginners should always make it a habit to use uh, limits until they absolutely have learned the game and the feel for the game because a lot of these things will come as you play. A lot of the understanding and the feel for what you need to do will come as you play. Yeah. So if you just have a rule of thumb to go by until you get that feel, you, you should be all right. So yeah, limits on everything. Unless you have a ton of people and a ton of tasks, then the the, the limits are less important because there are so many they will not manage to overproduce any of the tasks unless it's stones really close to the camp yeah and then they will harvest up all the stones close to the camp and then it will even out on whatever is further away and the further and further away you get the more and more materials you get so they will automatically be evened out so there is a good logic in the game, which uh, I personally find easy to follow. Right, time to get down some feeding stations for the animals. We're going to need hay feeders for the herb herbivores, mostly. Pigs do also eat a grass, but they seem to gain a bit less. At least in real life, they uh, gain less from a straw than they do from fruits and, and other types of food. So. Yeah, let's get it straight though. So hay feeders are important to keep up for your herbivores. But then again, remember herbivores only need to be fed during winter or when temperatures are so low that the type of grass that they are feeding on is too low in, in the wild. And then you need to supplement them with your food and the straw that you have saved up for winter. Yeah. So you also need to calculate how many of these feeding stations you need based on your livestock uh, size, of course. So the more uh, livestock you have, of course, you need to add more feeders. It, you won't cut it with only one forever. Having two of each now will uh, keep this um, livestock amount plus another 50, maybe 60. Uh, okay, but as soon as you are above 100, you need to get a lot more. So if you calculate roughly um, four to six spots per feeding station and you are 100 uh, animals, make sure that you get between 15 and 20 at least. 15 at least, so that none of them are uh, standing outside waiting for the others to finish eating and then in the meantime developing uh, hunger so that it shows in your tribe state because you will see like a blue um, time glass, whatever it's called, where sand is slowly falling through, then you know that some of your livestock is in queue waiting for food. So just get down more. We are probably going to actually take away the probably. We are going to expand on the feeding area later because there's no way we're going to have below 100 animals uh, when we are like year 30 or so. There's going to be at least 150, 130 to 150, 60 at least on average so we need to make sure we have enough feeding options for all of them 
yeah so get down some farmers so when you play when you play on fast you have a lot less time to complete all the the steps you need in order for a farm to be done so you need um, roughly four per farm on slow because you have three days to do everything on normal you need between five and six seven maybe on fast I go with at least eight per one farm because they have one or two days to do absolutely everything and if they mock about then whatever is not done on the farm will not be done that season so if you have the population for it chalk down extra people to the farms because they will just finish quicker won't they and then go back to other chores you can also up the um, communal tasks a little bit and then let your farms be communal chores that is possible as well but uh, when you come to a point where you are struggling a bit with getting stuff covered by your workforce you need to make sure that you are dividing them evenly so I would not have too many of my farms on tribe responsibility when tribe is large and diminishing effect is, is really showing with regards to the amounts of straw and sticks that we get into camp but this is something you will notice yourself now that you know the the baseline is that if you struggle with work work um, workforce make sure that not everyone is going to do one thing only hence do not make too many tribal chores of your farms because everyone will go to the farms yeah you can also try to just leave all the farms on tribe responsibility but place down the communal tasks so not everyone is doing the farms the issue here then or the risk you run though is that not all farms are being done in time so as a rule of thumb for at least for me when tribe is large and materials are coming in in less less amounts with the same workforce that you had 10 years ago it's time to place farms in uh, farmer groups at least the majority of them but yeah you you will find your balance for your tribe as you go along look at the lovely honeys we have a lot of honey here doesn't we? don't we we had a lot of honey in the other place as well didn't we don't mind that at all look at that let's get down the pine nuts for these do we have extra let's get the, the extra piece eaten up because we have a uh, high amount of peas which nobody will eat they will just be rotting away let me see now the summer is well over so I'm going to save down the seeds again must try to not forget to save seeds because that's something I always do I always forget some some seeds you know I open it up so it shan't be wasted when they're done planting and then people eat it up and then I don't remember to close it down and then I have lack of farms the next year and then have to rely extra much on wild brothers blah 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 it's an evil circle don't be senile much a little senile like you could be i think <laughs> you can get away with a little bit on beginners on hardcore however it's going to be painful because you get so little of the farm crops at times you have to save for a few years you have to save seeds for a few years so you can actually do a one farm and uh, when you when you have one unit of seed that's all you need to get started then you're saved you know then you have everything you need oh look at the lovely things we can build oh a new leader yeah let's get up work age of course that is the one thing that i always always under all circumstances keep as high as possible so the the um, uh, effect on fitness you can see it on their fitness page on their personal page I don't find it to be big enough to make any drastic changes to how I do it but if I see that if I see that the majority of the tribe is suffering then I will go down because if you have a lot of young people and a lot of elder people then you will have a high percentage of people that has their fitness suffering due to that they have to work when they're really young or very old 
I'm not sure I quite agree with the authenticity here, but uh, yeah, that's fine. It is what it is. Right, and there we got the clay containers. Good job there, Bubble. So now we just need to uh, wait until we actually get a lumber mill before we can make it. Yeah, look at that. That's great. Food processing was the skill we lacked. But yeah, no lumber mill. We need a lot more Neolithic influence before we can get that. But that's fine. That's fine. What we have for now will suffice. So now that all the um, animal food is uh, fenced in, the wild herbivores will not go steal anything, so it's not a loss for the tribe. So there. So the roundhouses are coming along. Um, we can't even see the, uh, the longhouses yet, but I'm going to place down a few more peltarts just to uh, get more people off the fireplace the fireplace so I don't think anyone's sleeping in the open but many are sleeping in the by the fireplace so we have a red house that means that over half the tribe is uh, still not housed properly so we need to work a bit on that it's always the same with me and beginners I never get all the housing done because I do everything else but I don't do the housing what the heck is that all about Need to do the housing, Lily. Seriously? Yeah? So what else are there that are, are new stuff? There is, there's a lot of new stuff. The, uh, the patch that was released to beta for a few weeks ago had a ton of changes as well. You, for instance, got um, um, more optimizations on that one and even more on this one. So the trading and raiding also has been tweaked to to be more uh, logic and stuff so you get more from the raiding you also get told when the resources are getting low so you don't send off a 14 man party to get one i don't know one grain of wheat <laughs> and of course the, the the biggest one that i really see in so going through both these two patches both 03 and 04 is of course the pathfinding and the optimization those are the really big ones that are so easily um, noticed if you start a new game you will see how how fluent it is you can move your mouse as brutal as you want it's still very fluent and I really like that yeah we also fixed uh, a lot of the inaccessible issues especially with the graves because there were still some issues there but they have been sorted um, also they made sure that uh, if you have uh, tribesmen that are really hungry, they will go eat from the uh, dry dryers, no matter. No matter if the food there is done or not. So, yeah. See, with the work group as well, what you can do, what I had done, just a, a, a tip, you don't have to do it. You can have the straggler group have absolutely all the tasks. This means that none of them will be overproduced because they will try desperately to divide themselves on all tasks and of course they can't do that so they're coming in small trickles of absolutely everything and nothing huge of anything because we don't have any food um, stuff so close that they will be tons of one type and not the other yeah so you can do that as well if you like but just have a, a rule of thumb if you're going to have a lot of tasks in the group you need to either put on limits or add more people if you just add more people without setting limits you are running the risk of getting tons of stones but no fine raw stones so just keep that in mind as you tricks and mix with your groups and never forget to always adjust them as your tribe grows and your needs are changing because they will be changing yeah see what else yeah, they also, uh, the devs also up the chance of getting any missing knowledge from your migrants. And uh, one of the things that will come first with any migrant is whatever you're lacking the most of, especially if you've lost a knowledge. Say sometimes you do lose a knowledge if you cannot manage to keep it up, then you do lose a knowledge. 
they made sure that that comes fairly quickly. Let's see if any of these have any bifaces, faces because I seem to be lacking bifaces faces all the time. Maybe I should make a group on its own making bi bi faces. I'll, I'll think about that. Maybe I need to do that. Nobody has bi faces. Oh, sure, I saw someone earlier with bi faces, or maybe that was another game. That could be. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's go see if we can force them to change their uh, change their um, goods. Maybe they come up with some bifaces in the end. Yeah. Flax? Oh my goodness. Dude. I put them to trade instead of raid. What the heck? That one. He tricked me. Okay. How many else do I have? Oh, I have another one there. Yeah, let's exit out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't even notice it was on trade. I was wondering what she was waiting for. Getting flex, fire, flex things. I think like, huh? That's not what you're supposed to do. You don't trade, you steal. Go steal. Okay, let's uh, let's go have our asses handed to us here. We will not trade. We will ta-da and up it all. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. There you go. Okay, so we're going to get tons of meat. Now we will see if uh, trading them before we raid them will grant better yield. So if you had not traded them, I would expect between 60 and maybe 80 if you're really lucky. But now you're trading, we should have at least one third more. So we will see if that calculation is roughly there and thereabouts, yeah? Roughly. So also the, the, the fear um, means that they are fearful of you, they won't produce as well, so it's no point raiding over and over again because they will not really give you a lot. So this is just an um, un, uh, anti-exploitation thing <laughs> to make sure that we don't just send out and send out and send out and just not, don't, don't have to create anything ourselves, we just steal everything. It, do, it does make sense, doesn't it? Otherwise it would be way too easy. Well, they don't have a lot of goods though. Oh, we did lose a bit of fishing there when she died, didn't we? Ah, well. Oh wow, look, we got 20. Those two people got 20. And now they are feared. Can you see that? They are in fear. So, sleeping, sleeping. So, let's see what the the 40 man raiding party gets from this uh, this tribe. We might have our ass 100 deals. And we are likely going to have some deaths because the death or the wound chance has been increased. So, we, have, we are paying for more. Yeah. Oh! I have died in combat. I have died in combat. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. So when they die, they just disappear into the corner of the map, and that's basically it. What happens to them? Nothing more spectacular, I'm afraid. For now, they should kind of be carried home in, you know. But um, I don't know. Maybe the tribe is actually burying them, giving them a good burial. I hope they buried Lily. <laughs> I hope they buried me. <laughs> And gave me a good burial. Probably not. He just chopped me on my ass out. <laughs> oh, dude. So, yeah, we're going to remove those. So, the thing is, they also fixed um, the connection with the fences that are coming into each other more than two. So, when you have a, like a T forming when you remove one of the options one of the uh, sections uh, animals normally for a few days could go in through the connection before it got properly fused but now they can't at all so i did test this but it's been quite a few weeks ago since i did test this and since they added it so we all know that programming when you add new patches can revert sometimes to some of the old habits so need to keep an eye on that in case it comes back oh look at that 112 I'm quite satisfied with that yeah we got like between 30 and 40 more than I expected if we had just traded raided them immediately and not traded so you do get like a third more or so perhaps even more depending on the tribe we'll have to check it out I want to uh, put down a few baskets here to chuck in some of the meat because there's not going to be low amounts of meat because you have meat from all your livestock and the livestock uh, herds will grow and grow and grow. Plus you would like to keep the animal, the, the local animal population under control, especially the boars. The boars are, dear Lord, 
they will eat you out of, of the land if you don't keep their numbers down. So just keep on um, hunting those, to be honest. See, let's put some, some fireplaces, because I like when they are... Oh no, I can't fit any in there yet. Maybe I can fit later. Okay, so we're starting to get good amounts of bone. I'm going to wait till we have... Not you, but you. No, not you. Where is it? There it is, that one. How much does it take? Was it five or four? I can't recall. Let's have a look see. Four. Right, so we're over halfway to get enough stones for it. Don't need to wait till exactly four, but I want to close it to four so the, the efficiency is higher because they just go back and forth then, don't they? So I'm going to actually place the stone storage a little bit here just for now. So they can go and take it directly from there. Ta-da. Put it high up so they go to that one first. There you go. Right. Um, also, what they have changed. There's been so many fixes and tweaks that are basically not going to be visible as such in uh, patch 04. But um, you have camera zoom keys, by the way, in the regional map. You, you can, like I said in the uh, introduction, we've got um, the keys as well for zooming. So, yeah. Um, also, sometimes dead people, when you dismantle the building, they stayed in the building, <laughs> even though you were dismantling it. And then they disappeared, so that wasn't quite good. So now they are being auto-thrown out of the hut they died in if you're dismantling the hut, so you can you can actually bury them, yeah? Because we can't have it that they disappear, because people are still grieving for them and want burials for them, yeah? Makes sense? <laughs> so, let me see. I have to take all that are Neolithic, because we desperately need the uh, influence to reach Longhouse and Passage Tomb. Yeah, let's get the piggies. You and you? What are you? You're male. You're female. Getting quite old though. If I see old uh, animals coming, animals that are over 10 years old, and if it's not close to winter, then I do not add them to a group. Because I wait till they've come to camp, and then I add them to group, so they are slaughtered actually in the camp, instead of um, my herders running to the edge of the map. And then slaughtering them and then all the meat is gone been de decaying away i don't want that so if you see someone that is roughly around the uh, the time when it's supposed to be slaughtered by your herders or way past it just wait with adding them until they're in camp they will come to camp when winter comes to eat anyway so yeah just a small tip jess So they've also done some more to the hunters. They've done a lot of work to the Oh my goodness, look at my pine nuts. What in the actual F is going on? Do I have them on no limits? Dude. <laughs> no, like I always say, do as I say, not as I do. Whatever is too much, you need limits. <laughs> You're going to waste everything. Christ. There you go. There's not likely anything else will be in large numbers than those. Right, where was I? I already forgot where I was. <laughs> oh dear lord. I need a secretary to come tell me what I was talking about last. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, right. Yeah, the hunters. So they've also done it so that they are less likely to start a new hunt late in the evening or late in the afternoon. But they will rather prioritize to to go back to any slaughter. Even those who don't have a, an animal they have just killed, they will go help the other hunters with uh, getting the meat back to camp before uh, bedtime, before sleep time. So uh, that is also a, an extremely welcome change. Um, we have much less waste on the animals that we kill when uh, after this has been done because this is really really needed yeah it's not only something that we wish because we wanted it is because it's actually needed and they've done that which is good um <clears throat> they have sorted a lot of weird crashes that was due to uh, raiding and due to some livestock actions um the majority has been sorted and i have not had a crash since london burned so that means i think they are well in hand but um 
As far as I understand, there was also some issues with AMD Radeon and some of the crashes that was in connection with animals and or the the um, the rating and the tradings. I'm not sure how that works because I can't test that. I I can only I can only test whatever it is for for my graphics card. So um, there was also this uh, a flickering and the halo issues and the texture corruption stuff with the AMD game game or what graphics processing units or whatever I can't remember. And I think those has been sorted as well because uh, we've seen very little issues uh, being reported with, with that issue anymore. So that came already in uh, 0 0.3. So that is good. That has been sorted. So there's a lot of red meat laying around. Do I need more of these? I shouldn't. I uh, Maybe I should let one of the um, dries for fish actually be for for meat maybe i should do that yeah i'll move that one over there you go okay then let me see okay so this one is under construction yeah i'm just going to leave that leave them do that 696 okay of course it's being built um how are you going with the reed collection so what i notice and i have noticed for quite a while now that uh, reed collection is is not really even if you use adjusted groups for either the amount of, of objects you have that uses reed or if you just have a, a blind gathering you tend to after a few years not really manage to keep up with the reed it's like they they don't really reproduce anymore and when i go check i can see that they're there i can see them growing but it's like you know, people don't do not want to go harvest them now these these are not ready to be harvested so this is why these are not being taken but when they are uh, brownish then they are definitely ready to be harvested and these are now getting read what are you taking is that one ready though oh yeah it had brown flecks didn't it so some reed is being, but I feel it's very little. So if you have like four or five reed huts or four or five storehouses, I think that might be, be the max of what you can manage long term in a locality. So you might manage like, I don't know, five to ten years on the current stock. But after that, it becomes very difficult to get the good amounts in. So I'm not sure if something has happened to them or... If it continues like this, then I'm going to let the devs know that something is wrong with the reed production. Oh, look at look at all the... Seriously, I need to go make sure that I don't have them in all groups. <laughs> Unlimited. You have limits. You have limits. Wait, did you have limits? You did. Um, well, you don't. Crikey. So if you have them all on different limits, then they are automatically they are automatically becoming what I call support groups. Oh, I put that one on that one only. Why would I do that? That's just weird. Actually, you are going to be a support group for the reed gatherers. Yeah. Let's look at them getting all the honey. People love honey. The second honey is in the tribe. Next meal, it's all gone because they love it so much. Yeah, there's lots of stones there that probably will be carried over here. A lot of stones laying around. They're 3,400. I think it's time to... Ta-da! Because these guys are only gathering stones. They, at the moment, have nothing else to do. Oh, let's go check the graves. Ooh la la. How are we doing with graves? But oh, these are those, okay, so they are all busy. What about the other nice ones? Oh, they're all busy. Do I have I do have luck. Seriously. Let's build a few in, in, in tribe of the good ones. Um Oh, is that a blackberry? It is. Yeah, can't take you. We'll go around you. We can do that. There you go. Have a few by tribe. 
But although it's just graves and they don't need any, um, you know, maintenance afterwards, it certainly takes its sweet time to build. You can see them hammering along all day. You getting honey? Yeah? Good, 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 good. You see that we had a lot of honey, now there's nothing left. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> I need to make sure I lock down. Yeah, I did. What about you guys? Can lock you down too. Yeah, yep. Of course, people do not like the grain, so they don't really go for them unless they are basically dying from hunger. And then they will whinge, they don't like the food, so you get plus 10 unrest because they don't like the food. So this is why it's always so important to, to have some food that they do do enjoy. What are you guys doing over there? Oh, it's horses and... What are you guys gathering? Yeah, you're going for reed. Good. Yeah, because you are... Yeah, you're also having straw, don't you? Yeah, so going for a mix. Yeah, sure, fine. That's fine. Hey, what are you doing in there? How did you get in there? Was it because I was didn't finish this fence? Because before I moved that one, probably. Yeah. So now he can't get out because I finished this fence. Well, you're going to be sausage just then, I'm afraid. I apologize profusely. But you are very old. I mean, seriously, you are walking on three legs. So you can see that the um, the connection is now working because uh, this horse can't get out. It's stuck. So as long as the blue hammer shows, the defenses are fully functional. When they become yellow, that is when some of the animals can actually sneak in. When it's red, yeah, they will walk over your fields. No doubt, all sizes will go over your fields. Yes, let's have another goat. Can do. It's a female. Don't mind that. She's certainly helping to build up my stock. You can see now that winter has gone, has come and gone. All the animals that was congregating here, they have gone into the camp. Of course, they not needed to feed. Yeah, makes sense. So there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna remove, remove the uh, reed houses as I get other housing to replace them with. We do have quite a few pelcats, which is not the best, it's not ideal. But if you have several types and several varying quality uh, housing, if people are just rotating enough, you won't have too many unhappy faces. It is when they have to sleep over and over again in the same poor quality that you tend to see them going really annoyed with you. So if you have um, the best ones, fairly close then they tend to also rotate who goes first in of course depending on how far away they are when sleep time starts so those who are the the other end of the map will have to contend with the worst options which is basically the peltart so you can you can rate rotate fairly well considering that we have almost how many do we have now not you gosh try to open that one we have basically 200 people you see it's not all of them having a um, unhappy face it will be those who are on un, 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 non-satisfied with the sleeping arrangements you can see you want the better house in the fireplace better house in the fireplace yeah you can see it's it's those because we still lack too much housing don't we this guy is dying though look how old he became he became 70 let's see how long he have left oh he will die tomorrow or in his sleep he will die in his sleep probably but he was 70 years old. Now he's gonna go. And now he's in Peltat, but the body wants a bed to Peltat as well. And there he went, yeah? He lived a long time, Six, 69, 67, 69 is the norm after they changed the, the age thingy. Do we okay so we have a few free here so how many are we actually lacking then we will have to see do we have any free here no no there's two two here and another this one has just been built hasn't it yeah that's one 
Oh, we have several that we'll be without now. Three, and we have four incoming. Yeah. So it is. Now we've also gotten away the food from the ground on the with these um, pits, which is uh, needed. Okay. How are you doing? Because you're now on the straw, aren't you? You are now on the straw. Okay, so that means in theory that we can start building this one as well. Because the straw we have so much of, doesn't we have so much to start with at least. We always have so much to start with because it's so close. But as the decades go by, the logistics takes more and more of the work hours. Hence, you will need to up your groups to get the same amount that you need per per time the logistics is being expanded to further out in your area. So you might start, you know, basically at your doorstep, but after 10 years, you will be all the way over here to get the same amount. And then you need to also calculate the, the increase in workforce that you need. In the end, you can't uh, defend it. In the end, you, you can't do anything but gather straw for four of your groups. And then it's really time to migrate actually before that, but you get the gist. So logistics it is still an issue unless you can manage to to keep waste to an absolute minimum and also to create enough wheat farms to get enough straw for everyone but that is difficult when you have three four hundred people that is really really difficult look at her oh my goodness she's good 178 charisma i remember i had one that was 200 charisma once seriously that is insane that is insane. I'm not going to protest though. <laughs> I'm going to take it. <laughs> as long as it's positive, I'm all good. <laughs> but I will whine if it's too bad. <laughs> God, I'm useless. You can't take me anywhere. Well, maybe McDonald's. You can take me to McDonald's, I think. Yep. Look at all the stuff they've chucked around. Do I have too few storage areas for them? I do. This one has been full for three years, me at least. But this one is going to be filled as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, the good thing is that they are now building it. So they are already chucked on. Is it 500? I see they've done. So they are certainly getting there. Yeah, bit by bit. And you can see how the pine trees are growing up, or sprouting up. These are the ones that I will use to, to feed my animals most of the time. Uh, you guys as well will do those. Let me see how we do here. So you have 38. You have two. Where are the others? Well, you only have two. But I can see 20. That's weird. Have they just chucked them down somewhere instead of going to the... Uh, the storage. I need to check that I have, I have it made more storage areas for those. Oh, I have. What the heck? Oh, it's the original one. I forgot about those. I forgot that these had them here. <laughs> Oh, I was going to take them away, wasn't I, when I created those over here? Then they went completely out of my mind. Completely disappeared. Yeah, but we figured it out, didn't we? The mystery is solved. It's all good. Uh, you guys. Okay, so there's a few. Look at look at the yield we had this year. But it is two. It is two uh, farms, because I've made one extra beet and one extra wheat. Because those are the two that I would like to go for. So having one beet and, and one um, flax for now is fine. Because we don't really have an issue with gathering the um, fibres. If fibres become a logistic nightmare, then I will go down on the amount of people getting it and the amount that people are needing to get. And instead add another few flax farms. Because that is basically what you're going to do, isn't it? it, it it's the easy way to do it. Because your farms is right there you know you don't have to go through the entire map map to get two stalks of, of plant fiber so yeah that's how i'm going to do that and then i'm just going to feed the uh the livestock the flax grains unless we're going to go through a famine which we easily could 
you tend to be, at least I do, tend to be a little bit uh, nonchalant with regards to playing beginners because it's supposed to be so easy. But you still need to follow the rules of the game. You still need to feed your people. You still need to take care of your livestock. You still need to take care of your people, give them housing, give them graves, etc. Otherwise, you saw how it went earlier when people started leaving in droves because one left. So then the entire family left. So, yeah, it, it's very easy to become complacent when you've played a lot of hardcore and had success and then going to something that is a lot easier then you relax more than you perhaps should so yeah so it's it's, it's, it's quite normal i think to, to kind of start out having that attitude a little bit but you know as soon as you start losing people you will drag yourself in and remember that you need to follow the rules no matter if it's beginners expert or hardcore what are you lacking of course you are lacking read <laughs> Look at all the meat. We are wasting food. Oh, I'm gonna put down wild food even more. So I'm not too worried about the um, the farm food being a bit wasted. That's fine. It is the wild produce I don't want to waste. So those are. I'm gonna put limits on absolutely everything. Don't need a million of those. People do like clams though, but we don't need a million. So whatever you leave behind uh, tends to want to reseed. If we leave some behind, when we are opening up options for reseeds. I'm going to give my animals the, uh, the roots because nobody likes those. Nobody likes those. You can, st you can stay or you should have a limit, absolutely. You, you, oh, that's a weird limit. Okay, don't need a hundred bones either, so I'm gonna put you to 50. No, I didn't do one instead, it's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, you can stay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can go to, you can go to 50 as well. It's not like they will be wasted though. But everything else will be. Let's see, just going over again to be sure I got everything. Okay. Yep. So that's it. Just keep building and keep building. Now winter is coming, so now they're going to eat up all the uh, pine nuts because they are going out on almost. I keep saying going out on date. There's no such thing. They're <laughs> decaying away. Oh, all these uh, modern phrases and, and ways of saying things does not belong in this timeline. <laughs> well, they kind of are going out on date, aren't they? But not quite like saying it like that. Do they have dates? back in the days like you know like January the 2nd and stuff did they have that I actually have no idea I know I know some um, cultures did have some kind of calendar ish stuff was it the Incas yeah maybe it was the Incas and uh, yeah maybe they had dates maybe they had the 4th of February like the Valentine's Day no I wish we had more uh, history from these things that was more, uh, you know, correct. You know, a lot of it is interpretation and there's so much controversy as well around so many areas of our history and also the fact that most history is written by the victors. I would love to hear it from our, our victim side or from the loser's side, you know, more. I want, I want more. Yeah. If we had a time machine, we could go and sneak on them back, we could go back in time. Like, we couldn't interact with them, but we could see what they were doing. We could observe them. Oh man, that would be so awesome. Maybe we could see our great, 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 granddad. Who knows? Who knows? But if we wanted our first ancestors, 
we would have to go all the way back to Africa. Imagine even today a lot of people are not quite aware that we actually do come from Africa all of us. It's weird isn't it? And how long it took for us to change our appearance. Going from needing to be of dark colour to protect from the sun and then going to be bright because we don't have any sun. It's, it's quite amazing how long time it took. Yeah. You know, when Darwin tested out the birds on the islands, he took two birds from the same species. One was placed in his original habitat and one was placed in a lone island. And you know, within the year, the bird that was on the island on its own had changed both in size, it had changed in color, it had changed in behavior. It's quite amazing, quite amazing. So it is the, the adaptability, isn't it? Survival is the ability to adapt, isn't it? It's not the fittest of the strongest, it's the, it's the ability to adapt. Who knew? But it's not that long ago since we thought it was the survival of the fittest. But you know, often the fittest go together with being able to adapt, doesn't it? So it's kind of a big box of everything. I just wish I knew so much more than I do. I feel I know absolutely so little i basically know nothing but um it's so difficult to find a proper viewpoint because there's so much controversy shall we just go by taste what are we supposed to go by since nobody's bloody well agreeing i know controversy is the spice of, of academy I'm all for it but do we not have any kind of inkling to which side is more correct than the other one you know, there are so many areas where, where archaeologists are, are guessing each their thing and we can't disprove or prove any of them. <laughs> so, what? It's like psychology, there are no facts. It's driving me insane. Which is probably why I, I did criminology more in the university than I did evolutionary psychology. So, <laughs> it's just so much to learn. It's too much to learn for me. Yeah, I will never be, I will never learn everything, ever, ever. But yeah, time machine back to the ancient times would be lovely. Then we could get rid of all the controversy once and for all. <laughs> they have made some recent discoveries though. I read it in Illustrated Science, I think, about that they have uh, miscalculated when uh, humans were in uh, the Americas uh, by 130,000 years. Did any of you guys see that? I don't quite remember if they mentioned that it had a name, but they did claim that Clovis was not the first once. So if I find more information about that, I'm going to go over it and read it and see. Because um, it's, um, I don't know, I don't like particularly to go through only one source. I would like to get more sources, you know, to get a better picture and to make sure that it actually is a bit authentic. Oh, look, we can make create passage tombs. Ta-da! We are so going to make that afterwards, but let's see. Can we actually see? No, we still can't see the longhouse. What the hell? Okay, but we can make this one. It takes... Oh, it's still a shed load of stone. Dear Lord! 10,000 stone! Oh. Okay, we can do it. We can do it, we can do it. Listen to the music. It sounds like it's two on top of each other again. Can you hear it? That's just weird. It's a bit cool as well though. I, I quite like this one. <laughs> I couldn't leave it. I'm a bit surprised I have 50 frames. With everything we've built and I'm playing full speed. A little bit surprised at that, I have to say. Maybe it's because I'm not moving. When I start moving, it will drop. Because I have built a lot, seriously. But it's not uncommon for me, at least, to build the limit is reached. Look at them eating. You go, girl. Have some food. She has four units. Milk are in decimals as well. So sometimes you see, you might see that there's um, four milk in the cow, but it actually isn't. It's like 3.6. 
and then it's differently calculated for the herders who milk them. So then you see, oh, the herder only got three, but he, in fact, he got 3.4. You know, it's, yeah. It's a bit bob bob. But it is actually working as intended. A little bit mis mis misguiding, uh, though, I have to admit. So if you pay attention to this, you, you might see that. I, I would wish that they didn't have these systems because I don't like when I'm being misguided like that by the system. It's not by the devs, it's the system they're using. It's so intricate and it's so detailed that it, maybe it's a bit much here and there. Maybe it's not really that needed, you know. So, of course, I made a report when I saw it. Hey, she had four units of milk, but I heard it's only got three. What is this? Oh, it's... Uh... Look at them going. Or uh, the stripping instead of going for the next kill. It's excellent. This is an old one and he was big, very big. So he had 98 meat instead of the usual 90 because he was big. So we got more meat from him. So that has been changed as well. Uh, normally they all had the same amount of meat. But uh, it has now been changed to, to be more uh, meat based on the biology and the size of the animal. And it's just as it should be, in my opinion. It's, it's as it should be. Let me see. Um, I'm wondering if I should just take down a few of these reed huts. Because, uh, you see, they can't keep on top of them. Because already after just, uh, is it four years we've been here? Three years? They can't keep up. And I can't keep using all my people to take care of that. So I have two people on 150. Yet here we are. Still can't keep up. I'll put you on 150 as well then. This is just a support group though. Okay, what I could do is I could uh, lower the amounts of people to 10 and then do that. See if that helps. What you also can do, of course, with the uh, with the uh, um, farms if you don't like to use the farmer groups just make sure that you have communal tasks a little bit higher so they prioritize the farms so if i do this they will prioritize the code they com the farms that are communal which are these two above doing some of the chores in the groups um, these are under group control though so we don't need to to do anything with those don't need to up the person the the task for those because they will suffer so if you are going to do um the groups in tribe make sure you do all of them so you can use this without sabotaging the groups or but if you are going to use groups then you can go uh, this way so that less people are doing communal chores while you need them to do the uh, farms yeah so you can play around with this just as you see fit you can also increase work hours for so they spend longer days on the planting so you to make sure that you get done this is a bit more important on fast than it is on slow because on slow you can easily just uh, give them four people and they will finish because it's several days for each thing and here it's one day they have one day to do their task and if they don't do it then that's it so I don't mind putting up a workout a little bit for, for, for the planting. Or oh, is it two days? Oh, I wish I remembered. But there you go. Right. Uh, what else was I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to let them in peace a little bit and just listen to the music. The music doubling on top of each other. It, it's like there are two speeds playing at the same time. It's, it's a bit cool though, but a little bit uh, hectic and messy. Don't necessarily mind it, I have to admit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit weird. You know, we had this quite a while ago as well, and I reported to the devs, and I think they fixed it, but this has got to be when one of the patches has been added again, that be fixed or a new patch is added some of the old changes are coming back to are being reverted this happens quite regularly actually that you have these things happening so i need to make sure that i let the devs know that the uh, the double off of music is back again unfortunately you guys have to listen to it <laughs> it's not that bad it's not that bad There's a lot of beehives in this locality, yeah? 
not you, you are chopped. But there were several over here, I think there was three. One, two. There were more. Oh, it's getting dark, I can't see them. Anyway, anyway. So how much do we lack now of housing? Still red. But it's down to 56 now. It's better than it was. <gasps> 213 people. How did we get so many people? Crikey. Do I have one of these going? You are on. So that means 750 that you can start getting built. Yeah. So as soon as uh, the long houses come, I will place them by the coast. At least one. I will have at least one. Then I'm going to have some um, farms. Oh, look at the clams. Look, you can see the clams. So I'm expecting some pigs to come in, or boars to come steal them. But I'm hunting them like mad, so they shan't. So that's the wild sheep. Mufloon. So now in this area here, we have all the animals the game has to offer and we have all the food. There's nothing that we do not have. So remember this place guys, if you want to try something out in an area that has absolutely all the types of foods, this is where to go. This is the only place that I have found, the only area that can in Neolithic timeline offer you all the types of food that the game has yeah you will find it nowhere else i have tried everywhere because i would like to have a more difficult area like higher mountains but i also would like clams and also remember that uh, the fish pools in rivers are by far fewer than the fish pools in the ocean so the ocean will always have a lot more fish than the rivers so there how did you get in is there a, a thing here that i've forgotten i need to check my fence you should normally always do that to make sure there is no no hole anywhere Well, he can't get out, so it could have been a fence in need of repairs. No, these are all full. Let me see. There was... Uh, I saw that one. Is that one trying to go through the fence? He can't because this one can't get out and this one can't get in. So they are stuck on each their side. So this one will be slaughtered. She's already lost her parents, but they were old though, so they seem to have died from old age. Yeah. Look how old that one got though, 15 years. That's quite old for a wild cow. I mean, the tame ones, I think it can be between 17 and 20 ish. Yeah. Well, horses can be 20 years, so there's no, no kidding. They really can get old in game. <clears throat> Let's see how much we have. 3,200. So how far have you guys come here? Right. We have enough stones to complete this one. Plus, plus. Then we can start doing the others. I guess I could let them start a few of these as well. Don't need a ton of them. Or is it perhaps supposed to be like this, the music? I don't think so. Is it? What if I report to something that is supposed to be like it, like that? What is that? Always oh, a ton of um, beat because we don't have 
read to repair the silly storehouse. Okay, so let's uh, get down a few more of these then. There you go. You guys can hold some of the farm crops as well. It doesn't have to be the storehouse, but of course it is the best option for the larger volumes, of course. No doubt about that. Look at all the meat. Lovely. And people love meat, so that will help to, to keep them keep them fairly happy-ish. Not too many unhappy faces, even though plenty of people have to sleep by the fireplace. Yeah. Get these going. First of all, since they are going to be the backups for the mains, we do not want them to have max priority. We want them to be a smidgen lower. There you go, you guys can be neutral. So nice. What should I do with the uh, peas? People don't particularly like peas. I guess I could chalk them in with the animals. Don't mind that. Also the excess uh, flax grains could probably also go in these, I think, methinks. How can I have like so much frame per second when I'm moving around and have so much build? Yeah, we have plenty of straw. There's plenty of those. I'm not so worried about that. down those um, pits were ready not quick let's get um, some of the produce that we don't really want to eat and give it to animals can do Twelve or now you're good. We probably don't need fifty. We can probably go down to forty. max those out so some of the work groups can take uh, 14 some can take uh, 21 and some can take 28 the only ones that can take 28 are the farmers uh, the ones that can take 21 are the gatherer groups for instance the craftsmen can only take 14 wood choppers can only take 14 the gatherers can only take goats almost said <laughs> the herders can only take 14 so only the gatherers are 21. Oh wait, what are you? You guys are 14, yeah. So hunters and fishermen are also 14, while gatherers are 21. And the farmers are 28. More pigs. Let's click them and double click and go find them. There you go. Da -da, da -da. What are you guys? You are male and male. Two males. Okay. So now you see that you can see in the um, herder groups that their task is to to strip this uh, dead pig. So the thing with <clears throat> with uh, the slaughtering is that you can have your entire tribe help out. What you do to get quickly in all the meat is you use the, the you know the the clear task tool. Just cross out wherever it's not fitting, and then it's a stripping left. So then people will go help out, because this is a herder doing the work. It's not a, a 
the efficiency of a hunter. A hunter will go two and three people on the same animal and get it done in a swift, while the herders are, are a little bit less uh, efficient on, on the slaughtering or the stripping after they've slaughtered. I wish they would add that on new um, knowledge, animal handling, which contained how fast would they milk it, how well would they do the slaughter, like the stripping, how quick would they be and stuff like that. And if the herders were really clever they the animals would reproduce more often or perhaps have twins you know more than one animal see the wild boars they can get like three four kids in one go while the, the tame pigs never get more than one that is incorrect that is just yeah they get like i don't know 10 plus 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 normally i need more uh, did that yeah i did assign these we probably need more baskets. But when you're being dragged to a place, it's because you gave the the um, tribe a task. When they've completed that task, you will be taken to the area where the task was to see that it's completed. So that is why sometimes you're being swooshed to an area. Remember? You're being swooshed. <laughs> Look at all the pine nuts and pine trees coming up. We still have quite a low amount of biface. I think I'm going to do what I suggested to myself earlier. I'm going to make a group that, that do the bifaces only. Make sure I always have enough of those. So if I have four to do them, because we have tons of the stones, do we not? Look at that, we have tons of them. Did they actually bring with them all those flint cores? Because I've gone through my, my groups and none of them are harvesting wildly the flint cores. It's 10. So I'm not sure why there are still so many. Look. Oh, they are doing the farms now. So, yeah. So whenever the um, the fences need repair, if they go too long without being repaired, then animals will sneak in. That is just the way it is, I'm afraid. I wish they wouldn't um, sneak in so quickly, though. But it feels like it's a bit too early on some some of them on yellow. I wish they would only be allowed to sneak in on red. Because when it comes to the point where they are red, then they have gone quite a while without being repaired to be honest yeah so those four over there are done and I've added some more get some around here what have you done five faces that will be the stone working 74 and 74, yeah, that's good. Still can't see Longhouse. I wonder, should I get the passage tomb going before I add all the support structures or not? Because this one is almost done. It's got less than 1,000 1, left. I think I'm going to get these done as well. They are so cool. Uber cool. Oh, that's one. And that's one. Gosh, went past quite a few, didn't I? Yeah, I think that's it. Because we have tons of them. Um, of logs. Well, not tons, but we have plenty enough. They have quite a bit of work to do. Mm -hmm.
So how many do we still have that is sleeping out in the open? Oh, it's now ba back to uh, being below, below half the tribe. Well, we are getting there. Way too slow though, 15 years and people are still sleeping by the fireplace. <gasps> oh dear me. Every time the game stops up to save, it scares me because I think, oh my god, are we crashing now or are we freezing? Because there's been quite a lot of that after the release. There was so much crashing and freezing. It's what, it was unbelievable. I've never experienced this much crashing and freezing since after, straight after the release. But that's luckily all gone now, mostly. I don't have any freezes anymore, ever. Yeah. So, oh, they're done already. Gosh, that was quick with the wooden posts. Yeah. I was going to put milk in this one. There you go. So uh, one milk, uh, one unit of milk will grant one unit of cheese. So basically, the reason why you make milk into cheese is not because you get more when you process it. It's because it, you do it so it should last longer. So if the milk is always drunk up within a day or so, um, the tribe always drink it up. Then you don't really need to make cheese. But if they tend to not manage to drink it all up, then it is smart to process it into cheese. Process it, it into cheese, I can't talk. To process it into cheese, because then it will last longer. So there. Look at all the pigs coming. I only have one to do the slaughtering as well. I'll give her two. Let me see how many. Um, we have two. We can probably give three on the goats. And the, is the cow still alone? Oh, she has none now because she grew old and died. Or grew old and got slaughtered. Oh, that was done. So now we should probably open up a few of these. How many do we have? We have 3,400. We can open up a few of these and let people work on those. I would also like to very soon start work on the passage tube. I think I'm going to place it down and then just let them work on it as they see fit. Where shall we put it? Shall we put it over here? By the, so we let them gaze out into the, the sea. Should we do that? Oh, there's a mud pile there. I think it would be cool here. What do you think? Wait, where does the sun come up? The sun goes down over here. Mm. I think over here, maybe. By the water. And also to gaze on the sunset. Oh, wait. I need to give it to the, uh, the group that's supposed to have it. Oopsie daisy. There you go. Right. Okay. Getting more and more. Um, it's now like 47. Oh, there's that one needs to be repaired. So Then it w the number will be even lower. That is lacking a place to uh, almost said lay their hats to sleep. So one of the, um, also up with the pathfinding, especially with large tribes, you had that they were kind of like trying to negotiate a path to do the same task almost, to deliver, for instance, goods to the same storage area. And sometimes they could just stand around and just kick the ground for like half the day. And I don't really find them doing that anymore. So this pathfinding work has been exceptionally well, well done. Because um, the efficiency of the tribe is increased, I can I notice it. Um, it helps with regards to how much you need to adjust based on people's lack of efficiency. So when you have everyone being rather efficient, even those who are a bit stupid or have a bit bad intelligence grade, you need, you, could, you don't need to stress as much with making things go round and smooth. Yeah, so it goes a little bit more by itself. And um, that can never be a bad thing for most people. I personally don't mind any min-maxing and lots of micromanagement. 
but I can definitely see the value in not having to constantly fight your tribe. Didn't have to? Oh yeah, there's two. Look at the little one. She's a girl and she's... Uh, oh, they're both having uh, weaknesses. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Niet problemos. Okay, okay. We can see how the um, the receiving is going. You can see that we already have is it one extra bush coming up over here? Yeah, so these are the rose hips. There's so much honey. <laughs> Just <laughs> there's so much honey growing here because it's so warm and nice in Spain, isn't it? So I should let uh, the animals also eat some of the flax grains as well. That's a dead pig who's been slaughtered on purpose because they were old and unproductive. Okay. So now we don't seem to have any lacks for bifaces anymore. Everyone in this crafter group has all the mats they need to, to do these chores, to do these tasks. Yeah. So we have 900 straw for repairs. You need to calculate per, per annum. So there's 200 there, 300 there. Yeah, it's roughly 900 plus minus. But these straw huts take like 180 straw every time they need to be repaired so the quicker we can get rid of those the more economical everything else will be longhouse and of course also roundhouse the roundhouse has a 30 percent um, sleep service quality while the longhouse only has 19 and the reason for that is that the longhouse is, is supposed to take 18 people hence uh, people need to clash together to, to live there, you know, you have to sleep with not necessarily strangers, but not necessarily family either. But when you had a roundhouse, it meant it was one family per roundhouse, much more private and intimate. But in the, the, uh, the longhouse, it's like sleeping in a dormitory room. <laughs> so it's not that popular. I'm not sure how authentic it is, but it does make sense. You know, if we use today's thinking, it does make sense. We are so used to having one full, you know, either apartment or house completely to ourselves and to our family. And then suddenly we poof, are in dormitory with three other families. So it's, uh, that is not so per today attractive, is it? Maybe it was more normal back then, but then again, you have cultures where several generations are living together. It is just, yeah, who we are. We either do it or we don't. Whatever we're used to. Is that a blackberry bush? Yes, right next to where people are sitting. They can basically just sit there and have the dessert after tea, almost said. After they had the dinner, they just have the dessert. Yeah, have a few blackberries and raspberries. Sure, don't mind that. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna see how it's going over here. What's that? That looks spooky. It's a blackberry bush. <laughs> it looks like a ghost, like a, a scarecrow. I wish we had scarecrows to put on our, our farms to scare away stuff. But we do not. So with regards to the, the wild food versus the cultivated food. If you can manage to uh, mostly live off your cultivated food, like for instance the wheat and the beets, which are very economical, both of them, in comparison to both the beet, the, the peas and of course the flax, plus they don't particularly like those things. Um, you could live really well with a tribe up to 200 plus even, uh, without having to rely too much on the wild produce. And you can see that even though we have reduced the wild produce income really a lot, we still can see that the decay is almost half on some of the produce. The 
because we have a, a lot of influx from uh, wild animals which we're trying to put to control and also from fishing which we how many do we have we have four fishermen you know so for a tribe of 200 that's basically nothing but that in turn also means that we won't fish up our resources we won't run out of resources we the, the pools are being regenerated because they the system will always send them to the closest but the fullest pool so yeah that is good Bone knives. So you're done with that one. Okay, then we can basically you move on to the next. How much mud do we have? 749? Yeah. Time to go to the next one. Just keep building them. Look at that old horse. It was 17 years old before it died. Damn. That's quite old, isn't it? Yeah, this is going. Getting a more house in. Yeah, good. Oh, first one of those are completed. So now we just like these two, and we have thousands. So yeah, yeah. Let's just have them working. Let's see if we can actually see the longhouse. We cannot. We still can't still. We can't see the longhouse. I think we need more Neolithic influence. Oh yeah, we'll get it in time. Goods. Where you go? There it is. Come on, you. So this cow uh, came to us with migrants, and she was already old and this kind of means that uh, she will be slaughtered the second I put her into um, a herder group so I'm gonna wait till she is in the uh, camp before I put her into a group so that she can be slaughtered in the camp instead of them running all the way to the edge of the map yeah that makes sense to me to me We seem to be on top with the uh, materials needed and stuff, so this is good. We're just working on getting enough housing for everyone. We'll get there. We should probably also add a few more farms now and rely even less on any wild produce. I'll do that when they're done with all the harvesting, so I don't take too many people away from their chores. And more farms. We see. Try to not kill off whatever the options we have close here. Maybe. Let's see what's in the way here. Yeah. Nothing. That's nothing, right? Yeah. What about you? You need to be set free. There you go. Did I get him? Or maybe not. Oh, did I miss? <laughs> oh, a little bit. Let's uh, exit out and try again. I could also do it like square ish instead. So we don't have to fiddle about with that at all. These two. Then we also need to change the amount we are locking down. Let me see. So with regards to 
why I only place one entrance. Um, the livestock tend to want to go through to the next side if I put two. So if I only put one, they have no reason to go in because there's no through way. Yeah. So, yeah. So only one way and no through way. Oh yeah, no, it's going over that one. Okay, so then I know it should have a connection. Okay then. It went on the pole of the gate, so we should be good. But the other one did not want to even go on the pole, you know, on, on the, the one that was there. That's a little bit weird, wasn't it? Okay then. So how much do we have now? We lack 39%. Oh, we need to take down the workhouse because now the uh, seeding is, the planting is well over. Duh. PPPs. So we are just waiting for more Neolithic migrants so we can finally see and build the longhouse we don't lack a lot because the longhouse tend to come same time as the wooden trails you see the wooden wooden trails are roughly five percent off neolithic influences to be able to be built so it's just weird it doesn't show it should really show grayed out but it doesn't which is odd so it seems that when it is only lacking um, culture, some of the objects just doesn't show. It should show, but it's not. So there. Let's see how our passage tomb is getting along. Yeah, it's getting there. Slowly but surely. Also what has oh that one has moved. Also what has been done with the um, with the trader groups is that when they're out and about, when they bring with them goods, the goods used to um, decay really fast. So you can then end up, you know, going with a hundred furs and when you came to the place where you wanted to trade you had four left because the K was way too high. It was um, like it was open storage, and sometimes it takes days for the, um, the the raiders to reach or the traders to reach their target. And in the meantime, the the thing we wanted to trade away had decayed away, so we had nothing to trade for. So that has been sorted as well. So that is good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was a good idea to to fix because it's not like they, they had all their wares open to the wind and the sun to be, you know, either ruined or dried out or whatever they were carrying with them when they were trading. So, yeah, that it, it needed to be fixed and <laughs> you couldn't have it like that. Yeah. Yes, so the uh, the horse animations as well has been increased, um, been more precise and and broadened. So it's it's very adorable to see how they trot a little bit before they go over to gallop, which is quite authentic. So I don't even check these people; I just take them because I need the um, Neolithic influence. So I could accept uh, a lot of. And you know, non-attractive individuals with regards to to grades of the of traits.
double music, sure. It sounds like I've placed two two recordings on top of each other, but I haven't. It's really weird. So uh, is this one complete? It is. Then I shall remove the fencing in between. So let's just get them done. There's also plenty of space for uh, for the, the plants on in the farms to reseed outside, and so the gather groups can just uh, gather them. Because the uh, the herders, not the herders, the farmers will only do the farms, and that's it. You know, they don't go outside and pick up whatever has receded. Your gather group should do that. Yeah, and some people also think that uh, hunters not picking up the bones from the animals they have killed is a bug, but it isn't. It's actually coded to not do it. It's supposed to be the gatherers that does that. So look at that. Was there um, a tree there? Yeah, it probably was. So this is something you need to keep an eye on. If you are going over trees, you need to make sure that you go over the fence and see that it's actually being built. Otherwise, because if the tree is too broad, too big, they tend to not get built at all, the, the fence section. So it's always a good idea to, uh, to go over your fence when you're done and make sure that it's actually completed. Never miss. Are you old? Yeah, you're getting slaughtered. Yeah. Do you have any? Oh, look at all the, the kids he fathered. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, ah, dude. Yeah. We're getting there with everything, slowly but surely, but this one is great to have because it gives 100% appeasement when people are praying and that is great. That is really cool, actually. Look at the passage to getting and getting along. Almost 3,000. One third the way. Actually, one fourth, because you also have 2,500 mud they need to, uh, to place into it. Yay, a cow. Actually, a bull. A young bull. So, um, the um, livestock is a little bit cumbersome, the way we have to do it, isn't it? We have to find them in wayward animals and in this tribe state, and we have to click them, and then we have to double-click them, then we have to add them to the group. What I would like was that if you create a our her our, our herder group, then you have the option to choose what kind of animals they should take care of and then that animal will automatically join that group when they enter the, the locality where you have accepted migrants. That would be ideal. Yeah, because it's a little bit cumbersome doing it the way we do, isn't it? But I guess it's a, it's a decent start. It's either that or yeah, not having any animals in herder groups at all. Did you get in through the hole before it was built? You did, didn't you? And then you couldn't get back out again. 
Well, they haunted your ass. Yeah, well, it happens. Maybe we should get a few more um, freshers as well. Can't harm. Oh, we seem to have enough um, mills and ovens because if they manage to, you know, use all the wheat grains, uh, apart from those that you lock down, of course, by the time there comes more, then you have enough, don't you? But if you have lots of wheat grains left over, then you need more mills and, and perhaps even more ovens. But let's have a look at the flour. How much flour is there? There's one. So we're doing all right with the, the balance. But now there might be in need of another mill and perhaps another few ovens as well. But uh, let's just see how this goes. Oh, they managed to uh, to seed it before time was out. Did they do it with this one as well? Yeah, I'm quite surprised they managed that. Good job. What is it you're picking up? Oh, is it bones from a, a hair or something? Probably. Yeah, a hair skeleton. We start to get a few animals now. Maybe we should consider um, expanding the uh, the animal enclosure. I think we're all right for now. We don't have that many. Actually, we do. Look how many goats we have suddenly. 45 goats. We have one one cattle, though. That is not really a lot. And those are the ones who give the most milk, so I would love to have more cattle. But if you don't come, they don't, if they don't come with the migrants, they don't come. It is what it is. It's random. You get what you get. Those trees can can go. Although it's a spooky and cool sort of sort of thing, like that one can stay. A bit spooky, Halloween trees. Not in Halloween, but yeah. Bing, my uh, raiders are dying in combat. Okay then. Not too bad though. Oh, look at that. Did we get six? <laughs> really? Oh. oh my god, are they screaming? What the hell? I've never heard this before. Oh my word. Can you hear them screaming? I don't want to raid anymore. I don't want people to scream. Can you hear them screaming? Oh my goodness! <gasps> I, I have never heard this before and I've tested it so much the, the last few months. This is new. So they have added sounds in the regional map when you are raiding other tribes. They are screaming and running for cover. <laughs> I actually quite like that, but it's a bit um, a bit shocking when you hear it the first time. I have to admit. <laughs> I was wondering if it first came from outside or something. There is noise from the game. <laughs> oh, brothers. No. Oh, well, we can see it uh, uh, grayed out now. Oh my goodness, we lack a lot of of Neolithic influence to get it. 
Okay, they need 80 wood planks. You know, to get wood planks, we do need a lumber mill. But we still do not have access to it. We need another roughly eight or so, seven, eight. Maybe, is it less? Maybe, I don't know, ten, ten maybe more. Yeah, we need a bit more. Same for the dairy station, really. The dairy station is the shortest off to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely. So how much... Uh, so 36% people lack housing now. Right, well, we're getting there. Uh, yeah. Probably going to add some uh, housing over here as well. These guys. Yeah, you're the builder of roundhouses. I'm gonna make sure I have at least the utter majority of the maps before I start building anything. Let's see, we have 639. I'm going to wait a little bit more and then just get it going. So each of the wooden posts take uh, four logs to be built and the, the uh, repair or the maintenance is two out of four. You see, you get away with it, with having it, with just a, a smidgen of a Mesolithic influence. Um, when we made it the first time, when we added it to the game the first time, you needed, I think it was 30 Mesolithic influence. So when you came to roughly, yeah, around 70 Neolithic influence, then you lost it. But uh, we loved it so much that we, uh, we got it when you had even 1% one, 1 of Mesolithic influence, so we don't lose it. Uh, I played from 10 KBC to 0 AD and uh, I still did not lose it because there was always someone in the tribe from the Mesolithic timeline that had Mesolithic influence. Even if it wasn't 100%, they had some and that was enough to keep it active in the tribe. And I really, 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 really like that because it's really, really, really cool. Very cool. And it's easy to build, isn't it? It's a different material and always the stones. So yeah. Very welcome. So how many do I have now of these? Okay, I have a ton. I need to I need to opt to work spots so they actually get done. Good grief. Yeah. How are you doing with the pigs? Yeah, the pigs could do with some extra as well. Look how they are um getting babies. Damn. The pigs you don't milk, you know, so it's just a slaughtering when they're old and they're unproductive. Seven twenty-one. That's basically where we need to be. Oh, I didn't put some plus. I thought I did. Duh. <laughs> okay, so one at a time is still a good way to go. So how are we doing with the um, yield? Or just as the, uh, the harvest is uh, ready to be harvested, the storehouse needs repair. So hurry up guys, go repair. Who is it? Oh, it's under there. It's under there. I'm going to do this. So get repairs quick, more quickly because I think the others are very very busy what are you lacking you are lacking reed yeah okay so you lack a few reeds for this one sure uh, so this one is new to the group but he just recently learned um, agriculture and that's it really many old people she has she has four good uh, good knowledge is doesn't she you can see on each their page um what they've learned in their life you can just go and click and you can see 
So she's got some green there. That means that she's recently learned these things. Um, let me see what the tribe overall is. The tribe max is 81. So she is basically almost there. Uh, let me have a look at you. You. Yeah, she also is uh, quite a lot of green on the architecture. It just shows that learning architecture is, is increased. This one is good. Look at it. He's 78. And he's got he's got basically got the three that he has learned. He has learned really well in his life. So he hasn't swapped too much out of it. Oh, and this guy has just started. Can you see that? He only had a small sliver of blue and then a lot of green. So he hasn't been in the group long. He's fairly young as well, isn't he? What is he? Is he clumsy yeah a bit clumsy never hurt anyone let me see that wasn't the last one. this is the last one oh she's 29 and she's uh skillful but she has no no knowledge yet. she must have been in a gather group all the time you know to just gather food or materials because then they don't get any skills do they Unless they they do some communal chores such as the tanning, which will give leather working, or the stocking the um, the dryers, which will give food processing. Yeah, and uh, threshing the wheat and the flax will give. Is it food processing as well? It is, isn't it? Gosh, I need to check. I can't remember. It is. So she hasn't done any communal chores that gives any any skills. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Because so, when you are skillful, you normally learn quite quick. So I think she must have been... Wait a minute. That didn't... What? Didn't we just check her? And then she, poof, went straight up to almost max of what... The... Really? Really? I need to go and check the recording and see, did I actually miss it? I'm going to go check the recording right now. I checked her. She did not have that skill when we looked at her 30 seconds ago. Seriously, that is the quickest learning I've ever seen. She went from getting the rudimentary skill and up to 66% within a few seconds. I am not sure that is working as intended. But... I don't know if I can um, use this footage that I have to show it. So I need to do some extra cutting and stuff to show it. Oh, dude, yeah, that was uh, that was impressive, wasn't it? That's the quickest uh, and biggest learning I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> And the fabulous part is that I I, I recorded it. <laughs> that was just so impressive. So impressive. Man. Well, when you are when you are skillful, you are skillful. Let's see what is the max? The max is eighty one. So let's see if she It was like for every for every straw she chucked on the uh on the house she got points sixty eight she constantly increasing it looks like a room experience sixty nine <laughs> no this is it's actually working as intended because uh, th this speed is dramatically increased to avoid that we are losing skill levels as we are working on an item because that was something that was really frustrating for everyone that experienced it because it doesn't make sense that you lose the ability to build something that you're already building you know what's her problem oh she's pregnant look you can see on their fitness when they're pregnant their um, stamina goes down and their will goes down I would say that they would kind of, at least the uh, will would, would go up, but uh, there you go. <laughs> it used to be that charisma increased and that uh, fitness decreased, 
but now it is will that is decreased instead of charisma okay she stopped at 69 now she will reach um, max fairly quickly so uh, yeah I did go back on in my recording and checked and she did not have it she did not have it when we went back to her like a few seconds later she had it that was just so weird but I'm still a little bit shocked that the, the, the screaming, you know, the screaming when we were raiding. I haven't heard that before. Oh, crikey. I can see all the times I've been testing this uh, I, and I haven't ever heard it before. So that's a bit of a, a shock to the system. <laughs> but it's just pixels, so. She has a baby. So now her will is plus four because she has a baby, yeah? There is some sense in that, isn't it? You see her fitness immediately went back to her max. So yeah. 72. My oh my. Oh my. So we can see in action how quickly the, the architecture learning pace is. How quickly it is increasing. Didn't we? make this one square to save a, a blackberry bush where is that blackberry bush did it die anyway old and dead maybe look oh my goodness we have over 1100 beetroots we don't have um, enough space to store them because this one needs repairs okay so no, this one is needed as well. Oh, we are wasting food. Oh. Guys. Oh, I increased it because it was lowered, wasn't it? The food was getting lowered before I, I upped the farm, so I increased it. Okay, then. And go down a bit. So we don't have so much waste. Okay, that'll do it, I hope. So the food preference used to be much more prevalent before and, and it was like, it was not as unison as it is today. Today is more unison that nobody likes bones, nobody likes roots, you know. Uh, but back in the day, back in the day I always said, you don't have to go more than like a small year back when food preference was introduced where uh, the difference was that one people one person could like the, the the roots and another one could hate it but here they are like a very uniform aren't they in what they like and what they don't like so it's kind of like going on the um the calorie count mostly i think because all the food that has high calories are always very popular like the, the, all the meat types the fish the red meat and the uh, uh, the bread the milk the cheese and also honey sugar so um, it's it's quite uh, up to date with how we are today isn't it we we love the the calorie rich food because it tends to taste really well so yeah does make sense well the majority likes uh, the more calorie rich food because it tastes good so there yeah I'm just gonna let them work in peace see how they're getting along with stuff because they've built another one so now I only have okay so we built four of those um, support structures this one is three and a half thousand I'm gonna wait with these other four actually i might not even build them at all because they seem to have enough with what they have but i'm going to leave it a little bit and see see what i decide because now i have 21 people going for the uh, the raw stones so they are starting to, to have to, to travel further away because there's less and less coming to camp I wonder if it's a little bit too small space for them now. Maybe have to increase the, the um, size. Maybe. So 
so many goats. Oh, look at her. 174. She has good grades as well. Is she smart or quick or she's quick? Plus 28. Sure. This one is being repaired. Okay, so this one is under construction. So how much do we have? Yeah, we have 750 cheese. We can in theory start another one. So they are being kept constantly busy, but the same people are still doing everything. And uh, she should now be max. No, she still lacks a bit. She lacks one percent. She does not lack one percent. She has everything. <laughs> right. So if anyone is going to make new discoveries for the tribe in this uh, knowledge architecture is going to be her remember the other one that lived a while ago in this tribe Gatti was her name she discovered stuff all the time do you guys remember she, all the time go back a few hours and uh, her name was Gatti I'm pretty sure of it she discovered new things all the time which was quite cool actually rather cool oh why do I have so little straw left hmm hmm maybe I need to get down some more wheat farms to get more straw because we are rather low on it I'm going to leave those in, in to tribe responsibility as well and just keep the communal task on one above like they get one notch more than the groups to make sure they are done it shouldn't really matter that much that uh, the communal task is one notch to the right it is the higher differences that matter more so we need to be careful so we don't have the group task suffering so much look at all the fiber we still have all the fiber are you fishing? Yeah. God, the drums are galloping. Can you hear the drums are galloping? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let them work in peace for a bit. To finally be getting a little bit on top of all the uh, lack of housing. Okay, that only took us 20 years. <laughs> we did have a migration though. Look at all the peltots I still have. Just keep adding a bit here and a bit there to get rid of all the uh, unhappy faces. There's still a few though. Oh, where did you go? Yeah. But yeah, so look at him. He has two bad grades. Um, I did have increased work hours. When we did, did the planting. Yeah. He feel exploited minus. Is it 13 it says. Yeah. So he has a fitness reduction. Because he feels exploited. His fitness is reduced. He, he actually can't help that. When it is fitness. He is born with it. So. But he also has. Yeah. A fairly high will reduction. Or. Uh, negative grade of will and you also has indecisive yeah mm -hmm. so his uh, fitness is also affected does not want to does not want to work yeah we are uh, they're down now. Oh my goodness, look at the... Uh, she must basically be dead. Yeah, she's almost dead. How's it going with this one? I wouldn't mind her being buried here. No, no. Not going to be done in time. Long, long time till it's done. But we are getting closer to 
the um, longhouse though. We still lack over 20%. It's going to take a lot of migrants or a lot of, of um, children growing up to be in majority Neolithic at least. Oh, we almost 300 people. I was going to try to avoid that, but I need all the, the Neolithic uh, influence I can get. So I have to accept all the migrants. <sighs> It's a bit of an evil circle, isn't it? Oh. Why are you feeding here? I mean, you are uh, a grazer. Go out. Well, is the grass too far away? The ones you can live off? No, they're right here. Jayo. Children are so adorable. Especially those that have the small stature. They're like uber, uber small and it's so cute. Right? Yep. Let's get up the labor age again. So every time my my fence needs repairs and the tribe is a smidgen too slow repairing it, we have animals sneaking in. And then I have to make sausages out of them. Sad but true. Are you guys busy elsewhere? No. Where is that? Um... Oh, she's not here. The one that was whoosh whoosh learning. Learned quickly. Was it Aura her name was? I can't remember. Slowly but surely, almost halfway there with the uh, stones at least. Look at this cow. She is um, pretty big and she is also vigorous, which is the the highest uh, grade or the best grade of the positive grades of fitness. And she has five units of milk. The others, the normal ones, have four. I haven't seen any really, really small cows if they have like units or two units but the big ones uh, I have seen have more look at all the animals we are hunting not insane amounts but we are hunting but there's still many I think we are where we need to be with regards to uh, food from the cultivated uh, from cultivated farms because you can see we have quite a bit of beets left over from last season so this means that their people are, are getting what they need plus plus so let's see how many we, we did need in the end we have uh, what's this yeah, we one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six wheat farms and four beet farms. Then we just have one piece and one of the flax. So if you are around between two and three hundred, you can actually get away with this, which if you have a a fairly good trickle of wild produce as well. And uh, of course, meat is a very big contributor. Uh, the devs did increase the starter stock of prey so yeah so we have plenty food we probably didn't necessarily need uh, six um, wheat for the food but we do need it for the straw because as the decades go by 
people need to go further and further away to get the amount of straw they need. And even though the grass regrow, the, the diminishing effect is still there. So it will still diminish per year. So I, I lived um, 30 years, same locality, um, playing on slow. Uh, I migrated the, the first 30 years. I played over 60 years on slow, on hardcore to see how it was. And uh, by year 32 in the same locality, uh, I was basically out of straw. And I had to have like a, a gazillion um, farms for wheat to get enough straw for all my animals, for all my buildings, for everyone. So it's uh, it's difficult to, to make it uh, go around when you also need to feed so much to your animals. You can't feed too much of your food to animals because you so desperately need it yourself on hardcore. On um, beginners, you can get a little bit away with with giving them some of your food, obviously. Um, but hardcore is uh, very unforgiving, and the produce that you get from your cultivated farms are so diminished in comparison to beginners. For instance, if you get 250 beets on beginners, if you get 50 on hardcore, that's max. So it's very diminished. But it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to give you a, a headache. And of course, you're not supposed to have 300 people in, in hardcore either. And there's no way you will get it. There's no way you will manage to have 300 people in hardcore. It's just not important. It's not possible. And uh, before it was made into, you know, you had the hardcore and beginners and stuff like that. You could easily have 700 people. I had 710 people once. Because it was all the same difficulty and, and yeah. But now it's, uh, yeah, not possible. Look, now Lily is leader. I'll be darned. <laughs> Look at her. Uh, 78. What is the max? It's uh, 81. Yup. Let's see how our uh, builders are doing. They don't have too much to do, I see. But they're all learning architecture. This guy's just started. You can see he has the uh, Mesolithic tent icon. And when it comes uh, to 50% learn, then it turns over to the, the Neolithic icon. But he's very close to getting the Neolithic icon. Did she just learn up to the max? Yeah, she did. So as long as a lot of, of the younger generation is learning the skills, we are doing fine. Trying to lose as little as possible. You know when you when you come to Neolithic and you don't really need to rely so much on the wild food, especially, you know, you don't want to fish up too much just in case you have a really bad yield one year on your farms. Uh, you, you run the risk of older people dying with a few percentage of their levels in fishing but it's never an issue because the next migrants that come they often have this this uh, lack that you lost they have the knowledge you lost because the, the game has been coded to focus on what you have lost and what you need more of you know to not make it so frustrating for players it's the uh, the balance that they always have to to get right with between authentic, uh, uh, realistic play and also fun of the game. Do you know what I mean? So if you make it so realistic that, you know, it takes the fun out of it, it can take the fun out of it, then they need to adjust a little bit. Otherwise, nobody will play, would they? At least not many. Do you know what I mean? So there needs to be some, some kind of help here and there, even if uh, it wasn't so realistic back in the days. Are you cows? You're aurochs. So they've also changed uh, the colors on the aurochs compared to the tame animals. So the tame animals, they can have these lighter patches on their bellies, for instance. While the aurochs are all dark everywhere. Let's go have a look at um, one of our cows. You can see especially the bellow. bellow. The bell, <laughs> the belly area. Seriously, I can't talk. Have a look at you. Oh, it's getting dark now, so I can't see. But you can see they have this light uh, area under their belly, 
which is <clears throat> more correct with how the domesticated cow started to look uh, many, many, many generations after the aurochs had been uh, domesticated. So, and also the auroch bull has a white eel on its back that the domesticated bull does not. <clears throat> and the goats as well, wild goats do not have um, mixed colours, while the uh, wa the domestic goat, uh, words are going in, in battle here, um, while domestic goats do have this mix of colour, they can be brown, orangey, white, and, and a nice mix. While the wild goats, they will only have this brownish colour. There won't be a, a mix on those. So yeah, they've changed the textures on, on, on the wild animals compared to the, uh, the domestic animals as well. And uh, it's just, it's as it should be. Nothing wrong with that. Let me see, how are we doing? Just got to make sure that none of my animals are starving. Maybe I need to expand it a bit. The enclosure for food, I mean. So all the storage areas for beets are full. So there's roughly 300 that is out in the open somewhere. Yeah, I should probably make a storage area for those as well. Look at that, she's got uh, a small improvement in fishing. Look how they wiggle their butts when they walk. <laughs> What's the two or three cows? Oh, that's another one, a, little, a baby. I'm always taken. Are you not taken? Is it because you're old? Yes, I want this one to go into camp before it gets slaughtered. So they don't have to walk all the way to Poo 2. Was there another one? There was another one. Oh, that's the one. There, I knew that. Look, they are standing by the edge now of the map. And not getting milked. Because it's so bleeding far to walk. And it takes roughly a day or so until the milk can no longer be taken from them. You can see the camp is all the way over there. And here are the cows. They will come in though when winter comes. But in, in the meantime, the milk is lost. So the, the devs are aware. I wish they would force them to go into camp fairly quickly. But uh, we will see. We will see. I'm going to make a few more um, storage options for the uh, beets. So they don't have to lay on the ground. So that's another 300 beets placed into storage areas, storage options. That's good. So this one is under construction. How much do we have? 419. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is 388 already. So whenever I see an animal being slaughtered out of habit, I asked the entire tribe to partake in it because before they fixed the hunters and the lack of efficiency and the decay on the meat, so much of the meat was lost, you know, and then they fixed it. But now I need to get used to not having to do that anymore. Don't have to, to <laughs> force efficiency anymore. The tribe does it by themselves. At least most of the time. There are still a few a few events where they are slow getting the, the, the meat. But that is also a little bit up to you as a player. If you keep them super busy, of course they will be slow. Where did I put the other two? Christ, I put them here, didn't I? There you go. There they are. Yeah. Just waiting for those to be done. Because now we have 1140 beets. And they are done harvesting as well. So there won't really be any more except when they go and... Uh, gather a bit of those that has grown outside but that's not the farmers of course that's just your gatherer group mm -hmm. no 
but we still have a few graves. What happened to the uh, bush that was there? Did it grow old and die? It did, didn't it? Let's uh, fill that hole. There you go. <laughs> Has to be done. Guts to be done. Oh, look at them. They are on 6k now. Only 4k left. Excellent. I think afterwards we've made the passage too. We are going to expand the animal enclosure. But I want the same type of fence. So I'm going to wait till they're done with the passage too. So I don't. Uh, so they don't compete about the stones, the raw stones. How many are we lacking now? We are lacking 28. That's the lowest we've ever had. It's the lowest we've ever had. We had a few, uh, quite a few elder die though, so we get, did get a little bit help there. Don't be so slow in filling up the the food food uh, stuff for for the animals. There you go. Good. We should be able to train up the pigs to go find mushrooms. Is it truffle truffle sniffers? <laughs> Has anyone ever tasted truffles? They say it's extremely strong taste. And I don't know, is it a posh thing to actually like it? It might be something that is associated with, you know, posh or expensive taste or, you know, perhaps rare taste. I just, uh, I have never tried it, I think. I think I've never tried it. Uh, but then again, in Norway, we eat a lot of fish, potatoes and carrots. That's it. <laughs> oh, dude, that's of course just a joke. An exaggeration to make a point. Oh yeah, we need to start gathering 2,500 mud as soon as they reach roughly 9,000 of steins. Then it's time to do that. Let's see what this guy is now. He's probably still over there because it's autumn. Oh, he's getting closer. A little bit. 10 meters. He's 10 meters closer than he was three days ago. Yeah, getting there. <laughs> they really need to do something about that, seriously. I need to force the animals in to the camp. I have asked for proper enclosures where we can actually lock them in like they like we have it today where where animals are inside an enclosure a, a large in fenced in area they don't roam free they they just don't they are on the fields or as you know any specified um grazing area but always locked in they're not in the wild they're not roaming wild without any restrictions so I would like that as well because when you have like 200 animals they are everywhere I would like them to be tidied uh, to a specific area where they can be where we also can have their food and stuff yeah so this is the thing with uh, with um, the gates animals can go through it because they are considered part of the tribe right so they can go through the gates as they see fit so I would like gates that the animals cannot go through because if we have that then we didn't need to worry about uh, having so few gates to the people to the farms you know because they couldn't go to the farm because we could choose no no animals you know the same they have in sims when you click the gates in sims you can decide is it family is in this and this person do you allow pets etc yeah i wish we could do that here as well but i do want the enclosure that's for sure definitely want the enclosure and to, to choose what animals to put in that enclosure. In my opinion, we should have that. So I have suggested it to the to the uh, devs. I probably will keep uh, nagging a little bit on it because we really want it. I really want it. And I'm really sure I'm not alone in, in wanting a proper enclosure for the animals. I also want shelter for the animals, a place they can go to get uh, um, protection from the sun, for instance. A place where they can be when it's winter. 
you know? Because at the moment they go out in the wild all the time. Domesticated animals are, are, are not supposed to be out in the wild all the time. They're supposed to have their safe location where they can go get protection from the sun, get protection from the cold, you know. So I would like that. For instance, in some, uh, when they had longhouses, they, it was quite normal to have the, the animals on one side of the longhouse and the humans used the other side of the longhouse. Because not only was it heat to the animals and from the animals, but it was also protection to the animals, wasn't it? So yeah, I would really like that option as well. See, I want so much. There's so much I want. <clears throat> but yeah, we need to do step by step, one thing at a time, Lily. I am not impatient. I'm just eager, okay? Okay? <laughs> right, so now it's winter. That means that this one should be where we are. Let's go see. Oh, it's feeding. Is he running or is he here? Ah, oh, he's here. Excellent. That means we can give him to the herders and they will take care of him. There you go. And immediately got marked for slaughter. Let him eat finished first. Seriously, guys. <clears throat> Look at them go eating. I was going to see if I could find a male auroch to show you the, uh, the white eel that they have that domestic or cows do not have. So I don't know how long it took before the um, domestic cows lost the eel. But there are some uh, animal species that still have the eel from old days. For instance, some of the horses have the eel like um, Fjoring, it's Norwegian, has the eel. And the Polish horse has the eel. I think there is one more uh, type of horse that also has the eel. So what I have noticed uh, also is um, the, uh, the the littering, I almost said. Yeah, it is littering of of bones and corpses when they are old and they either die from their, you know, by themselves from old age or they're being slaughtered because they're old, unproductive, perhaps sick. Um, that the, the, the littering is everywhere. You know, the, I wish and I have asked for to have a specific area where people take the animals that are really old or, or sick that needs to be put down to instead of just having them everywhere in the camp. I mean, they are right next to their mothers and brothers and fathers, you know. Everyone can see it. I know, I know it was, you know, normal and it was needed back in the day to rely on animals to, to, to live with regards to, to, you know, food and, and leather and all the bone products and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm not arguing that. What I am arguing is that it, it, to me, doesn't make sense. And it's certainly not correct that everything was done out in the open like that. There should be a specific area for it. And that is what I've said to the devs that we might want to add to the game. It is, first of all, it's better for your heart. Seriously, it's better for my heart at least. And it's uh, more organized. And I'm pretty sure that they didn't just slaughter them outside their living room door. There's no way they did that. And they certainly didn't slaughter them among all the other animals. They didn't do that either. So we, we can take that step and uh, make sure that we have a spe specified area where, pe where people are taking animals that are sick or old to, uh, to, to uh, put them to sleep, basically, to slaughter them. And the area should be tidied between every animal, otherwise we will have it like this. You know, you see the bones are floating around everywhere. This is something I actually do not like. It's, um, for, I mean, I don't know, for us modern humans, it is uncomfortable for many of us. Not for everyone, I know that. We are all different, for heaven's sakes. I'm not saying that we all should be the same, but for me, it's really uncomfortable to watch. I actually don't like it. It was like the when we raided the other um, the other tribe, and they started screaming. That really hit me as well because I never heard that before. It's a, a, a bit of a shock. Like, oh goodness me, are they screaming? You know, 
it does something to you even though it's just a game it can do something to you the first time you hear it before you desensitize yourself but this with animals is just messy and it's not necessary you know and many of us have very strong convictions about animal care and you know how to treat animals or not to treat animals for that matter so i think that this is just my opinion you don't have to agree that's fine um i think it should be a specified area where only this happened you know and nothing else and that's it because it has to happen because we need to survive and this is how they did it but it doesn't need to be in the eyes of everyone so back in the day history tells us often parents um sent kids out in the woods to do other things while they were slaughtering animals because it has an effect it has an effect on people no matter how much you need it to live it still has an effect and even though we know it's necessary and needed it will still you know it will affect us imagine why many farmers um, today are trying to not have too much of a, a relationship with any one type of animal because they have to when the animal goes old they have to slaughter it don't they and many of them are really uh, uncomfortable doing that so they try to keep a, a more distant uh, relationship with the animals instead of just getting so bonded to them but children children bonds with absolutely everything animals objects humans everything humans uh, adults also bond with objects let's not be very clear but children are so impressionable and they are so inventive and and want to experience feelings and everything and then that animal dies and that is actually quite a big loss big loss for the kid and also for adults who have bonded really well with animals so I think I think I will continue to suggest and ask for a specific area where the herders take old animals to slaughter them. Yeah. And I want a shelter for everyone and an enclosure for each species species. I don't think it's too much to ask, but it might be a bit difficult to get all coded in one, two, three. So I will just be patient and wait for it, because it's not like the devs do not know that this is something that I'm not the only one that wants. I'm pretty sure I've seen others ask for it as well. Maybe not in as many nagging qualities as me, but hey, <laughs> any small mention is a mention, is it not? Let me see why. Uh, let me see. I think they are slow filling up the feeders. Granted, we are no longer in the um, uh, no grazing period. You know, see, when there's no grazing, they need to feed from you. You will see a yellow square with grass in it, so where it says no grazing. That means that all animals now have to feed from your resources. Yeah. So, okay, they are filling up. Maybe I should make more. I'm gonna make more as soon as. Um, as soon as the passage tomb is done. Let's see how old you girls are. You are four, seven, eight. Okay, so you can all go into the group. Unfortunately, they will all stay there until they're hungry, going into try to get food. It is what it is for now. Let's see, are these Soros? No. They are deer and horses. Look at the uh, antlers on this one. Damn! You can see the eel on the animal. Can you see it on the running down on the back of them? Let's see if I got a bed. You can see that. Can you see it? Black eel, black stripe. Yeah, that's the eel. Here you go. This is a male auroch. You can see the male aurochs have a white eel on their backs that the domesticated bulls have lost through decades of breeding. Decades, maybe centuries, probably centuries of breeding. Look at all that. All the honey and the rose hips 
You like dried meat? Of course you do. He's three years old and he loves dried meat. Us carnivores, seriously. <laughs> what would we do with our bacon? If it hadn't been for bacon, I would probably be a pescatarian, seriously. But bacon has me going. But I love pigs. Oh god, it's such a dilemma to be in. Anyway, it's a very, very um, sensitive area to go into talking about animals and animal welfare. Let's not do that. Let's stick to the game most of the time. I don't want to upset anyone with my views or my lack of use for that matter. So did you see the domestic pigs? They have a lot longer ears than the wild boars, don't they? They have these floppy ears and they're so cute. I think this is so cre creepy. The first time I saw that they actually went into the passage tombs, they walked inside with the corpses it was like oh that is so creepy so tomb raiderish you know <laughs> look at them working it's hard work isn't it how are we doing on this one let's see the amount of stones yeah 6700 it's getting there seem to always be low on on the straw now should I add more straw farms? We already have a lot, don't we? We have tons of them. How did you get in here? Did I have a, a fence that needed repairs? Because now we can't get back out. And don't be worried about that, that uh, starvation sign, or the hunger sign. It just means that food is scarce, they are hungry, but they never die. They never die from starvation, don't worry about that. Well, you are going to become sausage then, I'm afraid. Can't have you there, dude. Yeah. It's a bit slow, isn't it? I think I'm gonna um, create a specific group for that passage tomb only have like six people work on it then the other group that had it originally which was also gathering raw stones can focus on the raw stones only see how how that goes if it goes a bit quicker i want to expand the animal enclosure quite a bit i think so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a group a post group and then get down the uh, the outline of how I would like it to be ish is that crooked it is isn't it I can't have crooked oh there you go can't stand look at that you either have full size or not enough size but this is what I mean it's really annoying I wish they would have a more would have a more fluent fluent size of the the stone sections so when it when it intersected with another one it would automatically stop and connect you know so oh, I don't like that at all so I can't make it a small one because there is you know it's no change and if I do that it goes over so now I have to just build it like that and then just have that little snot showing over it's annoying but hey it is what it is so these guys are or she can clear there you go you can have one person to clear <laughs> to clear the grass See if this one gets a little bit quicker done. I 
I'm also going to uh, create a storage area here for, oops, yeah, it's not supposed to be freehand, but hey, it does the trick for the mud that we're going to gather, because we need to gather um, 2,500 mud for the uh, completion of this passage tomb. But it takes, I think, is, is it 14 or 21 uh, bodies? We will see when uh, when it's completed. Let's see, we should, in theory, 731, we can add more. Is it you? It is you. So when the sun comes up, so we have some uh, site. I'm going to build more roundhouses around this area here. Oh, now the longhouse is gone. Have we lost some Neolithic influence, perhaps? We probably have. Oh, yeah. Sorry there, Mr. Horsey, you have to move. There you go. Not do them all at one story, one at a time. You are good. There you go. Look at the. We can do that now when they're planting. Oh, they're done already. They are so quick. They're so efficient. Seriously, because now they only have peas and a few of the uh, flax left. How are we doing with? Uh... No, we're doing good on plant five, but we don't need to add more flax farms. You see, nobody's really eating the peas, because it's not really something they love, is it? So, yeah, it's not really getting eaten, so there's no point adding more. But they do like the beetroots, and they, of course they love the bread, so always keep the bread coming. Let's see, we're now... Yeah, we could do with more um, threshers, because you can see that the wheat we have is over halfway rotted. And even though we have it on the second um, after default on uh, communal tasks being prioritized, they are still not uh, finishing the uh, wheat. So we should add more. I mean, we have four of those. We have a lot of uh, raw hides and not a lot of leather. That could be because we have a gazillion pelt huts. That could be it. Let me see if I can go <clears throat> steel. See if one of them has changed to... Okay, they have raw hide, which is not what we want. See if any of them has either asks for um, raw hide or wants... Yeah, raw hide. Oh, these guys are still afraid. It's like ages since we, we um, raided them, isn't it? So they either sell leather or they need raw hide. Let's have a look. No. Aye. Such. Well, so there's nothing here that we actually need or want. We have tons of everything, don't we? Lots of food. Maybe I should uh, just terrorize them a little bit because I can. Let's go do a bit of terrorizing. What do you guys have? No. Nah. No. Nah. Sure. Let's uh, get more bread. <laughs> Need to keep them active. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Look at that. Now we have the wooden trails. We can make the lumber mills and we can make the dairy stations. Oh, that means we suddenly got enough of the uh, influence to do it. Yeah, poof, we had it. It's weird though that the, uh, the longhouse disappeared. That's odd, isn't it? 
it has happened a few times before and i do believe that the the devs are aware and that it has something to do with the increase or the decrease of neolithic influence or culture at all so yeah we're gonna get down those but uh, i first want to see if i can sort the fence issue by just adding a um a, a gate here and then create a wall from this gate to this gate and uh, then just remove these all these because they will be removed you know because we are uh, expanding so we don't need the inner wall we only need the outer wall yeah let me see so when morning comes i'm going to place down a few of the or, or one lumber mill and let's see how much milk is being wasted it doesn't look like any milk is wasted so for now we're not going to build the dairy stations i could build one though just for the busyness and the aesthetics but not because it's either more economical or needed now most people uh, like to build everything because they can build everything and that's totally fine you you play the way that you want to play you do not have to play any specific one way or the other you play as you would like more migrants i'll take the cows absolutely because we have so few cows in comparison look we have 51 pigs are you serious <laughs> 51. that's a lot of meat that's a lot of bacon how old are you nine you're getting there eight you are young though yeah okay. where are them cows Are they a family though? Are they? Yeah! Look! That is so adorable! It's the mom, the dad and the baby. Hold on. <laughs> okay, you've done your mission. you got 27, 40 people and you got 27 grains. Yeah, I'm not really impressed by that. <laughs> where, where are the other ones? Oh, they got 118! Dude! That's quite nice. We don't need it though, but I raid just to raid. I don't like that they scream though. I do not like that. So I'm not going to go watch close up when they do it. What are you guys doing? Ah, you're getting blackberries. See the mix of, of Mesolithic and Neolithic. I just love it. I think the Mesolithic um, uh, human demography is so pretty. It's so absolutely cool so cool to watch with both the 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 way they have their hair the color they have the not necessarily clothing because they tend to be the same but the, the tattoos and the body paints that is so awesome i love the mix I, I really like the diversity i wouldn't mind even more i really wouldn't mind more it, it, it enriches the the society i think yeah so this one needs to go see it was protruding over there and we have another treasure yeah because we need to get rid of all those wheat before they decay away that's a little bit important to not waste the wheat because wheat is so economical when it is processed and giving uh, the finished product so we shouldn't waste any of the wheat cheese right so we do lack some yeah, there seems to be some issues with the reed. I wonder if I should uh, let a few of these be dismantled so we don't struggle so much with the reed. See how we're doing now with this. It does seem to go pretty fast now that we have a specific other group for just this and nothing else. How we're doing with the stones. They're not really um, decreasing that much, so that means that the others, the other group that are focusing on gathering the uh, um, stones are doing their job well. So, okay, so now we've got both the, tra the raiders on, so we're good. We got some extra fish that we didn't really need, but hey. As long as we don't have insane amounts of wild produce, like all the, the nuts or the rose hips and everything else, I'm okay with, with having a little bit of extra fish jerky or meat jerky, especially if we've stolen them from, you know, 
from the neighbors. <laughs> More cows? No, goat. Oh, these are Mesolithic. She has an increase in fishing. And he has an increase in, oh my word, in food processing. The problem, however, is... The problem is that we are desperately trying to reach enough Neolithic influence to get the long house. We also lack the... Oh, no, we have the wooden trails. Yeah, we got just enough to do the wooden trails. This is a dilemma. One I would rather not have. Because I, I want to accept everything that has animals. But at the same time, I don't want to accept so much uh, Mesolithic that we're just never going to reach a majority of Neolithic to 80%, which is what roughly we need for the longhouse. I think, I think we have to decline them, even though they have both increased knowledges to give to the tribe, especially this one. Look here, we lost someone in hunting. Even though we have several hunting, when they spend too much time running after the animal instead of uh, actually killing it, then they the levels are not increasing. And, and this is something um, I think uh, it would be prudent to, to do something about, that they also give them uh, skills when they are chasing like mad. You can see them running like mad after the animals. So I wish they would give some skills there as well, because, I mean, the chasing, the, the, the catching up to, isn't that a part of, of learning hunting skills, isn't it? It is not only the killing that is the hunting skill. It is also the 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 chasing of the animal, the figuring out where it is and how to, you know, overcome the animal. So yeah, so this is why, and this is quite common that we have issues with in in Neolithic, especially late Neolithic, because we, we don't rely too much on fishing or hunting for that matter, because we have we have enough with uh, with the cultivated food I think it's time for some more of the mills and the um, bread ovens because we have quite a bit of seeds so let's get those sorted so we don't waste uh, anything we can easily have two more ovens I think I wonder if I should add another uh, mill as well, just so we have three. Or maybe four. Where's the other one? Are they two clouds? Difficult to see, you can't see the, um, the blueprint. Oh, there you go. No, that's good. They're fine, they're fine aren't they? And maybe we should have a few baskets for the uh, the bread as well. I mean, it can't harm. You guys can have a few baskets. Yeah. You already have one. Okay. Let's just do it one at a time. There you go. So now we have quite a few of the planks, see, those planks, so we should probably uh, see if we could build a few of the clay containers, because they are really good. Look, they have a 500% decay reduction. We could do with a few of these for the, um, for the, uh, do, 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 the beets, yeah? Then we can place them around here somewhere, let these guys also enjoy the beets. Let's just do one at a time. They take um, less uh, volume though, they can take less produce, but the produce will last longer, 100% more, no not, from open storage area, not from the next up. So people think that uh, when this basket says 200% and then the pit says 300, uh, that they think that perhaps the pit, that means that the pit is 300% better than the, the basket, but it isn't like that. It is always calculated from open storage. So when you see that the, um, 
the clay container is 500% increase. It is not a 500% increase from the storehouse or from the pit. It is a 500% increase from open storage. Yeah. Good to know. I have so many pigs. Oh my word. Look at the size of 51 pigs. We're getting uh, quite a few uh, cows uh, finally, aren't we? This one is big. Very big. Very big pig. Oh, this one too. Pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> and they're getting babies. And of course, when they are old, look, they're old. Old and sick and can barely walk. Then it's time to not let them suffer anymore. Look, look at the, um, Christ on the bike. Look, <laughs> look at the honey. We have 105 honey because we had one group specifically go get them because people love them. So because we lack a lot of housing still, we are keeping people happy by giving them a lot of food that they like to, to, to battle the unrest numbers. So <laughs> let me see. Oh, let me have a look at you. Prayer. Oh, you only pray for like a millisecond. How about the food, don't you? Yeah, food. So she only has one, uh, one unrest due to lack of proper housing. So she probably slept in the uh, the reed hut overnight, because that one is no, it's plus eight. What is plus one of what we have here? These are minus, aren't they? Yeah, they are minus. These are plus 16 at least. No, these are 30, always there. Yeah, the long house is plus 19, I think. Unless that has been changed and I didn't realize. Still can't see it. Let's have a look at the culture. I'm pretty sure that we are 80% in Neolithic already, to be honest. Are we not? Maybe we're extremely close. So we need to pay attention to that. We don't accept uh, Mesolithic migrants, no matter what livestock or knowledge they've got. Otherwise, we'll never get it. See, I sorted this by actually removing the uh, the part that was over the fence. And uh, when uh, the rest of the fence is built done and done building, I will remove these inner walls. And then the issue where they don't really fit will go away. Quite happy with that. Rather chuffed, actually, that I could sort it. <laughs> OCD went a little bit haywire. Yeah. So that's good. And they're really getting along now as well with the uh, lovely passage. Creepy, but a really cool passage to them. They are already on 9,000. So it's less than 1,000 until it's completed on the stone part. And then, of course, there will be a ton to do with regards to the, the mud. There's even more. So they're not blooming now. They're not, uh, you know, fruiting up now, I almost said. <laughs> this is remnants from last season because they're, uh, they're supposed to. They stopped blooming uh, last week of September and they start around first week of July. So you have those two months where they will constantly produce fruit if you keep uh, harvesting them. But after the last week of September, if you harvest them, they won't produce more until next year's season, which will start roughly first week of July. So even if you see that um, these have full lots of fruit, it is not because they are constantly producing, it is the remnants from old and they will of course be having a very high decay on them already, at least three fourths. So this is also why a starter feast when you first land can be so good because you are tapping into any untouched resources from last season. So if you come roughly in spring or summer, you will have tons of food that you can just wildly harvest and you don't need to create groups to gather food to start with. You can just focus on building and gathering materials to build stuff. Yeah, but then when year zero tips over to year one, then you will have basically very little um, uh, use of starter fish because then it will be in the year that you are actually harvesting. So there won't be too much left if you, if you get what I mean. Yeah.
Okay, so now the clay container is done. Let's uh, put some rose hips in it. We can make more to put in the um, the excess of beads because we have tons of beads. So we can do that. We still have a lot. I had to post lumber mill, unsurprisingly, because people are too eager to use it. So in a huff and a puff, we had like 90, 90 planks. <laughs> so they need to chill on that or give limits. Yeah, I think the, the devs said they were going to give us limits on those and some other stuff. So yeah, that's going to be good. Let's have a few of these here or at least one, I think. Yeah, so this one can have the uh, the beats. See, what did I do with this? Yeah, priority on that because it's not a, a, a produce that is locked down anywhere. It can easily be maxed, so it, it gets filled equally with the others that are the same priority. And it also gets repaired quickest, but this one I need to remember to put down to for there. I don't need to put it there at all. And just keep it neutral to make sure that it doesn't get filled before the uh, lockdown storage. So now we need to be, be vigilant to look after that we are not accepting meso migrants. Because we need more Neo. Uh, hello pig, you're also big, pretty big. A lot of big animals. Ta-da! Yeah, you're old. Old and crooked. Oh, they're getting along. See, there's a small gap there. But wild animals cannot get in through the gates anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. doing good with uh, with the uh, wheat then as you can see the um, decay is, is fairly low so they are being uh, taken well care of that is good that is excellent let's have a look at the passage tomb oh they've started on the mud well first they're going to build it up you can see for days they can stand there and, and some players think that it's a bug but it isn't they're not praying they're actually working so if you check the description you can see it says working on a passage tomb so they're not praying it looks really cool doesn't it you can see they're clearing of the land and making it smooth and nice i think it's really cool Creepy, but cool. The passage tomb is creepy. Imagine when they have to crawl in to bury in the next one and you see all the skeletons and stuff just laying, well, not just laying there, but organized however they did it. I know, it's, it's, I think it's something we today can't really imagine as such. It was a, a natural and, and a good thing for them to do back in those days, but for us, I mean, it's associated with ghosts and fear and, you know, horror stories and stuff that we've made up through the centuries and whatnot. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what other types of religious stuff we are going to get. Like, are we going to get sacrificing, for instance? No, you know, like sacrificing either your produce or your children that affects your children you know <laughs> like the incas we keep finding you know mummies of children young people that has been sacrificed or left there to die for some some reason we don't know they, they yeah they they argue if it's to please the gods to make sure the harvest is good, blah, 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 blah. It could be any of those reasons, or all for that matter. But we do see them, we do have them, we have found them, and we continue to find them. 
I, I don't want children sacrifice. I don't want animal sacrifice. I will agree to, I will agree to, or I will be totally fine with produce sacrifice. Like we offer them a part of our our yield from the farms, and then the the gods, if they are pleased with that, they will uh, grant us a higher yield next year. I think that is the the least, I mean, controversial thing to do for us per today. But we also need to remember we need to be at least at least a little bit con um, realistic and authentic. So we might get some animal. Uh, offerings as well. Uh, I wouldn't mind <clears throat> giving them a few rats. No, that's probably an insult. No, it's an animal as well. Animals are animals. So we'll see what they do. People want a, a human sacrifice, but I'm not sure we're ever going to get that. You, you, I mean, I mean, you could feed your enemies to the boars, I guess, to the pigs. And the pigs will eat them. It's disgusting, but it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I think it will be a little bit too brutal and then we need to put a, you know, a parental guidance thingy on the game. I'm not sure what it is at the moment, but back when we had um, the uh, breasts showing on the females in the Mesolithic timeline, I think there was a parental guidance of 12 or something. I think that's removed now because the, all the females are properly covered now. Yeah, well, we shall see what comes. You know, I wish um, I could do programming because then I would help them program caves so we could go into the mountain areas and then just find caves and live in. Like here, we could have a row of caves and then, uh, you know, uh, a path system and build hanging bridges, all the things I want. Oh my goodness. You know, in that sense, this game is never going to get done because there are always things they can and will place into the game and implement it with and new DLCs. Oh, I can't wait for those. Yeah, it's going to be great. But one step at a time. Okay, so this one, the extension is basically done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to order these to be dismantled. music is doing my head in a little bit with the double beats and everything a smidgen look at the reed gosh i can't wait to we don't need to build them anymore it's so difficult to to keep up the the reed amounts after many years we've been here over a decade now over a decade well we are playing fast so it's not like it's been forever ever playing slow it would have been a forever ever <laughs> so this one is done then we can start this one I'm gonna have a look and see if they've started uh, filling the uh, passage tomb with uh, with mud yet it takes a while before they start filling it with mud no they're still working on the uh, the structure itself and uh, the grounds. Yeah, that's right. Everything in due time. Look at all the, the pine trees that are shooting up. I don't necessarily uh, want them everywhere, but uh, I'm not going to remove them because it's basically what we feed our animals with besides the, the straw. So I think I'll stick to just leaving them as is. More goat. So we have 50 goats and 53, 50 new pigs. Oh, are we lacking graves? Oh, crikey. Let's just get this one in the group and then we need to tend to the graves. Let's see. Yeah, let's do something with the uh, the stone graves. So let's give them four. What is she doing? Oh, oh yeah, getting bones. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the main thing about Hot Zero Four is the continued working on optimization, improving frames, and uh, also the uh, uh, pathfinding project. Basically, it has been <clears throat> quite a difference from playing, for instance, release till this patch now because the pathfinding is. I don't even know how many percentage better, but it's a lot. It's so much better, and also the optimization is quite good on normal sized tribes up to like 80 100 with plenty things built. I have an average FPS of over 60, it dips easily over 80 as well. Um, it is when the, the tribes are really large, like, like two plus 300 plus. And then having a lot of stuff built and a lot of things going on, you're raiding, you're trading, you have tons of livestock. Then it is, it can dip down to, to even 20 for me. But then what I do is I play on speed three and then it, it always goes way over 20, between 20 and 40, depending on what I'm doing or how much I'm actually moving the mouse or the camera. So yeah. It's very noticeable. The the fluent motions when you move the camera, not at night time, because that's a horrible drag on your computer or the resources. When you move your camera, you know, during normal daytime, you don't have the stuttering that you sometimes could have with big tribes. This is more fluent. And it feels easier to move, like there's not a lot of resistance. I'm not sure that makes sense, but there you go. How are you doing? Okay, I'm going to give you some of the... Uh... Never mind. How about you? I'm going to give you some of the... No, never mind. What the hell? Right, so this one is done. That means that now only these can be used to get in anywhere. I'm going to see what this is. I'll take him anyway because he's uh, Neo need Neolithic influence there is also you know a limit to how many animals you can have so if you keep just accepting and accepting and accepting you will in the end not have enough food for them so this is something you need to calculate as well in hardcore you won't really have that issue because there's no way anyway in anywhere that you will manage to get as many animals as you have here um, average for me in hardcore is 20 of each animal yeah. so there's no way you're going to manage to get the same amount here yeah. but uh, in beginners and expert you need to also calculate uh, you know can you feed all the animals you know but the thing is then what I do at least is that um, I just accept them and then slaughter them you know it's uh, certainly a acceptable way to do it you get the meat at least don't you so you don't have to decline them because you can't feed them all just slaughter whatever is oldest even though they might have one or two years left before they are old and unproductive i go and uh, seek out the elder males that are um, not old enough to be slaughtered yet but i will do it anyway to make room for the younger ones brutal but that's the way it is yeah, so we have four feeders and two of those. That should be fine. I think, I think, I think. But since we're in Spain, the winters don't last very long here. You can see the no grassing um, warning sign is up. We also have um, a new um, information icon for when the food in your camp is low. And then you need to uh, make arrangements to get more food. It's the apple. You have a red apple, which is that means you basically have no food in your camp, or it's really low. And then you have the the um, the blue apple, red, yellow, and blue. I think it is. I've never seen a green apple because a green apple kind of means ah, oh, you have plenty of food, so it doesn't need to show at all, does it? Goes without saying. Okay, now they are filling it. Uh, no, look, they are graveling it up. Man, look at that. Half of that is very smooth and nice. 
And the rest is very like, I don't know, gravelly and coarse. Yeah, it takes days to, to get to this uh, stage of the passage tomb done. But look how lovely it is when the sun goes down. It's going to be so pretty when the sun goes down. When it's done, I'm going to add stuff to it, around it. Maybe I should make a trilithon around it and see the sun go down through the trilithon. That would make a cool screenshot, wouldn't it? Yeah, so uh, did I add grapes? I did. Why are some of you not eating? Yeah, so we need to, to basically build them. I'm going to give them that one. And that one also needs to be filled with something. Let's give them some uh, beets. Let's hope they quickly get done with these as well so I can fill them with beets. Uh, yeah, beets I think is the way to go. What are you lacking? Okay, still three tombs that are not done. Oh, it's just a log you're lacking. Oh no, that's that one, duh. But this one is, okay. Let's uh, fill them with some more food. Let me see. One of you should obviously have that. Do we have any uh, roots anywhere? No, I don't think so. No roots. Let them have cake. A while back you could add bread to them but you should not do that. It's the same with when you feed the ducks or the, the, the goose or whatever is in the pond. Just give them like frozen peas or something. Just don't give them bread. It's not good for them. And see. What else can you have? You can have nuts. What are we going to put these? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue to have the uh, pine nuts on those and this one when it's done. Oh, it's the fine sticks. No, we have fine sticks. Not super many though. Are you guys building the graves? You are, slowly but surely. Oh, look at the uh, hazelnut tree, how it's exploded in size. Dude, this is big mama. Look at the size of it. Quite cozy sitting underneath it though, isn't it? This is very cozy. I think it is extremely cozy. What was that that ran through? Was that a rat? Damn. Them rats. Okay, it looks like they're almost ready to start filling it with the mud. Yeah, so the no grazing period is over. That means that uh, whoever, whatever animal was hungry, managed to get food anyway. Maybe I need more. No, I think we should be all right. We just need them all to be filled so that everyone can help themselves. Yeah, I think so. I do, I do. Oh, read. Pain in the ass. Seriously. Look, look, look. Look at my passage tomb. It's 
almost done, almost done. It only lacks a little bit of mud and then it is done. Then we can uh, take away those uh, common graves, apart from a few for aesthetics that we're going to do some decorating on. Yeah. Oh, what are you guys doing? You are stealing. Yeah, I sent them out to steal some uh, fine raw stones to get some more axes. We are saving our own, uh, you know, our own fine raw stones if we go steal from others. Not a bad thing to do. Also, it's also uh, something I normally do. For instance, in Mesolithic, if I have very little weapon options or tool option, I go and steal from the neighbors if they have something that I can't make yet. Easily, easily will I do that. <laughs> no shame. Let me see. This one. Yeah, I'll wait till they've spent all the mud they need for the passage tomb. And then I will um, open up for building the last roundhouse. Look at the wild horse. Multicolored. That's nice. Let's see how happy or unhappy people are for that matter. Yeah, so it's uh, no grazing now, so the animals are eating from the stores that we have. Which is good. Yeah, just let them eat. We have plenty of food that we can share with them. Uh, no, you're not going to get repaired. You're going to be dismantled. Same with you. Off you go. I'm going to spend the straw on building roundhouses instead. And that darn reed. Wait. Why so many feeling exhausted? No, it will be the bad grades. Oh, it almost looks like you were sitting on the meat. What the hell? Yeah, I think it's so funny when they do that. When they sit behind someone and hold around them. Or it's not holding around them. It looks like they're holding around them. But of course, that's not it. It's very cute. Oh, wait. Are you dead? Guys, can you bury this dude? Not let him lay there in the open. He's got kids that will not be happy. Yeah, let's see how unhappy they are. They're not unhappy yet but they will be if they don't bury him lacking 101 Ta -da! we have a passage tomb okay so the first thing I'm going to do is to chill on the um the mud. I can't even remember who had the mud. Let's find out. Oh, that is. We can go back down to 750 now. That is, you know, what each uh, roundhouse needs. No, not you. Not you. But you. There you go. Yeah. So, this is what it looks like. This is quite cool. Look, this is what I mean with it being creepy. She just went in there with a the body. Look, she's going in too. You know, that is so, oh, that would be so spooky to do. I would be so scared. I would be so scared. Oh my God. And then he comes back out again. And then she comes back out. Look at all the bodies. What is happening? Do we have a million lakhs of tombs? 
Okay, so only one can go at the same time to deliver. And the second they have delivered inside, then others can go in and those who delivered are coming back out. Okay. Ta-da. And more buddies? Oh, I wait. <laughs> oh. And a hair. Bodies and a hair running for its life. Right, this is really cool. Yeah. What are you lacking? You are lacking straw. Mm. See the dice? That means that the straw is in the vicinity, it's in the locality, but we do not have it in camp. Mm-hmm. Why are you grumpy? You like your house, you like your food, but you feel exploited. You shouldn't. Oh, wait a minute. I did increase the labor age, the labor time when we did the harvesting. And I kept it on a little bit long. <laughs> Which is why the normals are unhappy. So we're going to take away the reserves I made. Was it over here somewhere? I'm sure I made some reserves over here. Was it this ones? Oh, it is these ones, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But whatever is free of these, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to keep a few of those over there, though. Can do. So there. Okay. I'm going to let them make a nice fence around uh, this tomb. Let's see, where are they? It's this, isn't it? Yeah, you guys don't need to be 4 million anymore. You can go down to being 10 and be good. Right. Going over the clams, going over the clay. Oh my word. Now I'm creating a lot of work for my uh, gatherers. So whatever we place down to be built over a resource, that resource has to be emptied first. Yeah. So now they're going to gather clay till kingdom comes. Let me see, was that roughly where I started the other one? Like there ish. <clears throat> and then I uh, uh after I was wondering why I couldn't see any farms because you can't make farms in any groups except the farmers. Oh my goodness. It's getting too late. It's getting too late for Lily, she needs to go to bed. <laughs> gonna do this and we are going to do what is it oh that's red there mm, I don't like that you and some offerings and stuff Where are the uh, offerings? That's the Neolithic. Yeah, let's do the Neolithic. And then let's do the Miso as well. Even though it's stealing your uh, your fine sticks. There. And then let's place a few of these. Oh, you wouldn't let it go into the Okay, we'll take what we can get then, but just so that it goes. Ta da! Wait, what was the yellow there? Nothing. Make it a little bit pretty, yeah? Ta da! 
Let's see, how many should I leave of the uh, the others? I'm going to have this one the way it is and then have a nice fence around it. And these I'm going to leave some. But not all. I think I'm going to leave two. Then have uh, my... Um, Stone gather group create those those because the small ones that oh oops that's not what I wanted to do the small ones if you don't want it to be a circle just double click and then you only get one yeah if you click only one and drag out you get that but if you hold and just double click then you get one just for your information so now they can uh, have proper gravestones that means I will take these away as well and those here but i'm going to leave leave those two for uh, beauty oh wait a minute is it too close to the other one it probably is yeah i'll move it down a bit that means i'll leave you and you while you others will be taken away so you you or you two, or you, you are further away. So these four, no, these two will be kept. Oh, then these need to go. Ta-da. Okay, now I finally agree with myself. Step in the right direction. Okay, so now we just need that silly long house. Really, I'm pretty sure this is well over 80. No, look, we have 78 or 77%. You can see how much Neolithic influence we have by going to any other ones that needs cultural influence. So you can see it's not fully four squares. It's almost four squares. So maybe it's 85 then. No, it is 80. Because five is 100. That means that five will be 20 each. That's uh, logic, Lilia. Hello? Maths is not your side, obviously. Not your strong suit. <laughs> See, there's a lot of work here, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah. And I am also going to buy the these. We're going to place down benches so people can sit and... Uh, you know, talk to the deceased loved ones or to each other for that matter, be together. Yeah, and this is of course going to be flax because they are so beautiful when they are flowering the uh, flowers. That's a need. Okay, so I didn't want to go all the way there. That's a bit pity. Let's see. No, because there is no cells available, is there? Well, at least some of them get. Our first wooden trail is completed. We have plenty of the uh, wooden planks and they are rotting away, so better get them uh, used instead of just rotting away. Yeah, makes sense. So people can also stand here and and pray with these offerings. And it looks like they are uh, praying, you know, to the, the gods and stuff who are dead. And also, like, I think nobody, nobody knows is that the passage tomb is also a praying object so if you pray to the passage too if you come and mourn you are also praying you get appeasement from it yeah so maybe we should have some fun and place around some uh... or is it too much is it too much double click for one Oops, no, that's not what I wanted. Did it work? Yeah, it did. So you can't see the blueprint. It's uh, you see the hammer, so you know it's a, it's a working thing, but you can't see the blueprint. Anyway, let's see how that turns out. 
it could become a little bit too much. It could, it could, fiddly bum. Oh, we have a new leader. Let's get up the work age immediately. So more people are working. Well, we're going to leave the um, labor age because I forgot to take it down in time after I upped it for the... Uh, oh, hello. Why are you all alone? That's a bit odd. Stop! There you go. I got him. <laughs> Stop! Because <laughs> he can hear me when I say stop. Yeah. Right. No key to key. Let's see how this, this develops. Wait a minute, can they not reach the... They might not be able to reach the... Oh yeah, they do. No? They do. But maybe they won't when everything is finished building. They won't be able to reach my torch to keep it updated. Maybe I need to move it. We shall find out. Look, this is quite nice, isn't it? This is pretty. And and dark. Pretty and dark. Oh, he was praying. Let me see. Oh, he doesn't have a... She doesn't have an unhappy face. If they have an unhappy face, you can see the effect. But the thing is, the effect is so huge with the big... Uh, with the big temple. Templemen hear that they will lose all their their unrest. They will all go away. They will still complain, say, "I work too much" or "I don't want to sleep in the bathtub." Blah blah blah. blah. But the unrest will be gone. The, the numbers will be gone. Do you know what I mean? It's um, so quick. I wish there was a way we could see on the persons when they had prayed and what effect that prey had, even if they didn't have an angry face. Yeah. So for now, we can only see it when they have an angry face, which is a bit pop pop. I have suggested it a few times to the devs and I think they've noted it down but it's not it's not really a priority at the moment. So that's that. Yeah. The animals are doing fine, aren't they? Yeah. Cows are low, but that's fine as well. Because we have so much of the others. We have fifty five of the goats and fifty five of the pigs, equal numbers, okay. So we are basically just waiting for the the long house and um, it doesn't want to show itself but we're not far off if we look at the culture tab you can see we're not far off we are almost at 80 percent yeah we just need a few more um, either neolithic babies being born and then turning into adults because that's when their um, culture becomes active in the tribe when they are turning adults at 17 not when they're born so yeah should we have a well 20 wood planks i'm pretty sure that's more than it used to be i think it used to be 10 but they have reduced some of the um, um, resources needed to build stuff. For instance, they have reduced on longhouse. They have reduced. Um, they have increased the um, time between they need repairs on roundhouses as well. So uh, there are positive things happening all the time to help players. Yeah. Look torch it will it will burn forever I also lower the fine sticks from six to one and the other sticks from eight to four and uh, yeah it will take uh, many years before it needs to be uh, repaired <laughs> uh, 
And I'm gonna leave it like that. Exactly like that. We are actually year 29 and we still do not have enough Neolithic culture to get a long house. We're going to be in 500 AD before we get it. <laughs> Look how close we are though. Ugh. And I also turned on the, um, the lumber mill to get some um, planks to repair my wooden walkways. And I turned my head for two seconds then I had 212 planks. See, this is why we need limits on these things. <laughs> Oh, dude. No kidding. It's odd how it's only plus one no proper housing it must be because they've been sleeping in the good houses for uh, many nights in a row and then just once have to sleep by the fireplace or something it's something that builds uh, before it used to be that it was instant you know plus 33 unrest just one night by the fireplace I feel I've accepted Neolithic migrants for 10 years now and I still haven't got a 90%, 80% Neolithic uh, influence. Yeah. But yeah, so this one can take uh, 21, 21 bodies. And it also can be recycled, the, the spots inside. That's good, otherwise you would need five gazillion grave graves and 400 of the passage tombs and I never exaggerate the saying <laughs> I love the the face paint it's so cool you see the clothing are constantly changing and having cooler um, cuts to them having cooler pattern to them look there's a pattern you see the red it's really cool I love the belt as well and the necklace this is exactly what it looked like even the cut is correct see the uh, neolithic uh, compared to the mesolithic neolithic is much more textile compared to meso which is mostly leather and fur It's just a soft skin hood as well. Very well made, seriously, really well made. I wonder when they're going to change their hands to not look like claws. Because when, when they're not doing anything, you know, their hands look like claws, do they not? Like claw fingers. Maybe when they get an animator. Now one thing, you, uh, if you do something similar to what I'm doing here, you will notice that when the, um, the crops you are using right before they are to be harvested or when they are, are in full bloom, your tribe will not want to walk over them. So if you're building the, the stone graves um, or the gravestones uh, while you have the uh, farmland down around them, you will get an inaccessible uh, icon. You can just ignore that because it will be accessible again as soon as the the farm is harvested yeah so no worries no need to ruin anything see how they've spread that is good i'm wondering if i should make more how did you get in there? Did we just repair our fences? 
So this this odd animal managing to sneak in somewhere when we are repairing the fences. Oh, it's actually annoying because they trample on the newly done crops and then they need to go back and, and till it and plant it again. Well, you can't run away because you're stuck now, aren't you? As soon as the fences are repaired, you can't get out. So it is what it is. Done. Done and dusted. Surely we gotta be there soon. So where did I disappear? It's gotta be like eighty nine point nine percent. Seriously. <laughs> How long are we gonna wait? Year twenty nine. On fast, on slow, that would be like, I don't know, how many years? Oh, 20 times 3 is 60. Roughly 60 years. Yeah. And then 45-ish on normal. That's when you start uh, in 10 KBC and go almost to... Well, a bit after... Um, the biome stops which is 1500 bc so if you try to uh migrate after 1500 bc it won't be correct biome it will be the one that was at 1500 so even if you uh migrate at 200 bc the uh the environment will not have changed to accommodate that timeline it will be 1500 bc and if you try to migrate after 0 ad you are very likely going to land in desert because there will be no biome. <laughs> I did, I did move biome. How do you say that? Biome. Don't buy me, but biome, biome, biome. I did try to migrate uh, 50 BC so that I could stay for a lot longer in the next locality, and that actually worked. As long as it hasn't tipped over zero AD, you can then move and then live till. 2023 AD, <laughs> but you need to do it before 0 AD. Yeah, look how nice it is now with the um, with the gravestone. And when the uh, flax is flowering, then it's very, very pretty, even prettier. So I guess the uh, this one here is full all the time. Yeah, more or less. You see the average age. It's between 67 and 69, and she got really old. She must have had some serious good traits, good grades. 71, yeah. But most of them actually are 69-ish. 67 as well. Um, it's not too far off what it used to be. It used to be between 70 and 74, with the average being roughly 72. So it's only dropped a few years. It's not that bad at all, is it? It's a little bit unusual to see so many under 69, but we just have to get used to it. Yeah. Are you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, her biology is still showing. She's pretty big. Probably why she's 70. Was 70 when she died. Yeah, a few 67s. I didn't see a single 68. Mm. I was wondering why nothing was showing, then I realised I pressed K once to get rid of all the icons. Let's make cheese! Oh, he's got his bowl in his hand. Or oh, is it the lid? Is it the lid? I'm not sure how hygienic that is. <laughs> Look at that, the bowl on his leg. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It has to be some kind of bowl.
So yeah, we actually finally got the longhouse and this is because we now tipped over to 80% uh, Neolithic culture in the tribe. So here's the thing that can and often do happen. It doesn't always happen, but it does. Um, when there is only 1% that is um, differing between um, 80% and 79% Neolithic culture because um, children become adults and people are dying depending on the culture they have and they get. We can either stay 80 Neo, go to 81% Neo, or we can drop down to 79% Neo. And hence we can then be told we can no longer make long houses. And then another child becomes an adult with Neolithic culture at dominant. And then suddenly we can make long houses again because now we have 80% Neolithic influence so this is the culture dance that can happen with uh, with some of the items that we have and it's um i've had it happen quite regularly when i play really big tribes for a very long time so yeah this can happen so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare to build the longhouse so we need 1500 mods so i'm going to put the, the groups that had it to do 1500 we also need to go over the uh, crafters because we need 100 ropes and we need to activate the lumber mill because we need 80 planks and we also need 600 straw but that straw is is it's not the big issue so i'm just going to work on the the crafters now we are probably going to go do some uh, trading for more ropes uh, I think the uh, tribes we have asks for dried meat for their ropes and well it goes without saying we are literally swimming in dried meat so we can trade away some of that. Let's see what I want. I think I wanted more perhaps. Mm, no I wanted more sideways I think. I think over here yeah. So the longhouse doesn't have higher service quality than the um, roundhouse, but it does take twice as much people. So I'm okay with that. And the, having 19% quality, sleep service quality is really good anyway. Um, you're not, we're not exactly torturing our tribe, are we? We're, we're not constantly having high work hours or, or forcing them to work from their, you know, two months old you know so we we shouldn't be too worried about having some um, sleep services that are not absolutely maxed out to 30 percent let's see what they they need first what is it that they need first they need oh i can't see it until the building area has been cleared i wish you could see it immediately but uh you know so the first thing is going to be 84 logs yeah and we have 210 so i'm not too worried about that so i can put down the uh the uh, lumbers lumberjacks again don't need five million we're good okay and then let me see how many planks do we have for now we have none but you know give give the tribe two seconds and we will have 200. <laughs> i never exaggerate did i say that never exaggerate <laughs> Oh, we need a person on top of us flipping mud pile. Okay, this means that they will have to empty this mud pile first. Look how many are going to do it. Look at the drive going because it's a build task. So they are all dropping everything to go do it. Now, luckily, we have so much food that we can allow this to happen. Otherwise, I would have have to remove the long hours. But this is a good way to get those 1500 months that we need, isn't it? You force the system because the system, well, basically is put up like that. So we are going, oh, they've reduced the straw to 400. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Because they wanted it to be more valuable or to be easier to build. So it, it was um, a higher percentage chance of players actually building them, even though they were lower in quality than the, um, the roundhouses. So they made them quite attractive because they also look cool, don't they? They look really, really cool. And... They belong to the timeline you know if you want to play it more authentic you should have a roundhouse and you should have a longhouse so i'm going to go see which one of these uh had uh, rope but these demand flint spears yeah they're not going to win that mm. where are all the ropes they're normally a million ropes 
Okay, you. See, these guys are asking for dried meat and we have tons of dried meat. And some of them are almost halfway to be rotted. So what we are going to do, we're going to max out our raid traders. We're not going to raid because that is too unreliable. We are going to trade to make sure that we get what we want. And we can see that we need one and a half unit of dried meat to get one rope. So that's kind of how the calculation works. So if you just go by like one yellow circle is one unit. So one one plus half. So one and a half meat, dried meat for one rope. Yeah. And that will change, you know, if you trade all the time, then the price will go up on the materials or the produce you're asking for. Well, the commodity that they are asking for will go down in price. So it's a it's a win-win situation for them, but a, I don't know, first time it's a win-win for both, the second time it's a win for them and a loss for us. Okay, let's find more ropes. Um, how about those? No, we're good on those. We don't need to trade those, even though we have plenty meat. Let's see if more people have ropes. Even if it's just one, I'm happy with that. This is the guys that want a flint spear. That's not going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Okay, so let's be happy with that. It's better than kicking the teeth. At least one of them could, uh, yeah, could accept our dried meat for some ropes. Yes, so let's just hope that we get to keep a long house. Come on, we need more green just to, to secure it. So, I'll, I'll let me see how many... Um, okay, so there's one, two, three, six miso have died recently and a ton of neo. Uh, I'm going to look at the... Um, let me see at the bottom how many old ones we have. Okay, we have three, four, five old uh, miso. We have, we have at least six old neo though. Okay, so crossing fingers, crossing fingers. But they can't start the uh, construction until this is gone. I think it is it two. We're already at 1500. I have to um, do this, otherwise, I'll never get done because there are two mud piles there. So we need to be smart. We need to be smart to move it. Okay, let's uh, get a bigger picture here. Okay, so that's where those are. Yeah, I can see them. Oh, see, there's a, a hazelnut tree there that I don't want to cut either. How about our, our middle way? Mm. There we go. Let me see, we're outside of the clay. We are outside of the mud area. Yeah, good. The thing is with, with uh, hazelnut trees, they don't last forever. So when this one is old, they will of course chop it down and then we will have complete view. But I wanted it by the coast, not too far away from the uh, prey area. And also not too far away from the um, the, the tomb, because I wanted a, a, a full or a very busy uh, screenshot. If I remember to take a screenshot. <clears throat> well, after they um, remove the um, no, not mods. After they removed the options to have higher quality on your screenshots, like we, I can't do quadruple anymore, it is only one for all. I feel that my screenshots haven't been as beautiful, but um, I have to get used to it. Look how cool it is with the with the carvings and stuff. Even the pig is admiring it and scratching his ear. Very pig-like. Behaving very pig. Okay, so let's see now that they're starting to clear it. That tree can basically go. Because that's just going to block the view. So I'm going to make sure they get it. Oh, they already did. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we have access to absolutely everything that can be built. Um, I am going to place down a uh, a well as well. As well, well, well. Well, well, well. There you go. We need a well. Because a well will help people to keep well. Oh god, the puns. Oh no, I can't do this. Let's just move on. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, look at the beetroots. Ah, oh, dude. <clears throat> right, so that is basically it. Why is there so few uh, plant fibers? Do I need to chuck down some uh, some more flax farms? I might do because we have quite a few baskets, don't we? So this is when I, I personally would increase my flax farms when the um, gatherers don't really manage to keep up with the uh, the need. You can see they're all lacking. So I'm going to um, give. What are you guys doing? I want to make it into a uh, communal chore. I'm not going to give it to a group. I'm just going to chuck it down here. I might actually make two. Let's make sure I'm not doing any food bushes. Yeah, that's good. There you go. So these two should be then the flax so we get more fiber and the flax grains i will just feed to my animals it's uh, no big deal no humans need to eat it because we are so spoiled with a lot of food in this area a lot of animals we have tons of livestock that it keeps increasing the meat stock that we have we just need to remember to dry it otherwise it will rot fairly quickly so we have like eight or so of the um dryers for meat to make sure we don't waste any of the meat because that is the the uber most liked food in all my tribes i think in general it's the definitely the the meat they also are very fond of fish so yeah let me see so you need to pay attention to your animals if you see that you get a blue not a blue bowl but uh, like a blue thinking glass uh, it means that some of your animals cannot fit around some of your feeding stations because I think they take between five and six per feeding station of your animals if you have like a hundred you need between 16 and 20 I think <clears throat> yeah so just make sure you have enough for them Not you. I think I'm going to do the all these with just um, pine nuts, and then I'm going to increase the pine nuts in the groups that are gathering them. So I think that is the way to go. I'm going to put them to 500. We do have the facility to store them, and now we have how many animals do we have? We have like 130-ish. Yeah, a bit under. So I'm going to have a lot of pine zero zero won't do any good pine scene coming there you go i don't have more do i that was it right no there's another one well okay then you can be a support group you don't need to do 500 you have so much else that you need to focus on that this is fine and yeah you have so much to do that there's absolutely no point in giving limits because they they can't cover them all they can't mass produce any of these because they have so many tasks. Just keep that in mind. Let me see. Why do you have zero workers? Let's have a look. I'm keeping them too busy, aren't I? Yeah, no free people. Yeah. What are you? You guys are... Okay, you can go down. You don't need to be 5 million. Uh, you guys are... You guys are staying, definitely staying. Absolutely no, you don't. Now that we are going to trade for a lot of the the um, the ropes, we don't need all of those. Okay, that's the straggler. You guys should stay. You guys don't need to be that many. You can be fourteen. Uh, you guys can be fourteen. We have so much food. And. You guys should stay so now let's see because we are now clearing the two farms that i chucked down um let me see let's make some should i have one here i just hope that i'm not making a, a you know a through fair for the animals actually i don't i don't dare to risk it i'm just going to get this done 
Oh, again, we're not going to do the pine tree, are we? We're not going to kill it. We're not open up. As soon as these are done, or almost done, I'm going to open up one. And then um, remove this entire section when all of these are completely, completely done. So there. Okay, so one step at a time. Let's see how they're doing here. They are still clearing the area. Yeah, they need to cut away any debris. And you can see here that there's two left, one left. And so they're cropping whatever is uh, in the way. Why is this one not covered? That's weird, isn't it? So the game also auto puts with the longhouse, it auto places um, wood lo logs as well, like log stores as well. And that's quite cool, it belongs to the, the longhouse. If you click it, you will see there's a subsection telling you that it actually belongs to the longhouse. That's quite cool. Right, so let's just, uh, okay, that was the well, yeah. With, uh, Let's place a little bit of stuff around it, like some pots and stuff. There you go. Looks like they need stuff to carry the, the water in, don't they? So if we had it a bit closer to the coast, we could perhaps be able to see the water levels. We might have, do we see, yeah, we do see the water level, look. We can actually see the water level from the coast, because the well is deep, isn't it? Yeah, see the water? Ta-da! We'll probably have it higher up if we build it closer to the shoreline. I like these, uh, set of pots. Just hope they're not both the same. I do like the the change. No, I changed direction on them so they don't look like they are the same, but they actually are the same. They there are very varied, varied um, sizes and shapes and stuff, but these two were the same. Okay. Okay then. Oh, and suddenly we only have twelve hundred uh, mud why is that okay let's uh let's help the system out <laughs> let's help them out they're not so uh, eager to to take the uh, to clear the area when you use the clear zone they are much more eager if you place an object on top of it that is going to be built <clears throat> i'm just glad we still have the long house because normally we have or very often at least not always we have, uh, they are so close to each other, the, the cultures, that they dip and then they go up and then they dip and then they go up. For every time they dip, we lose it. For every time they go up, we, we gain it. I'm sure many of you have had the the, uh, the culture dance on some of your long-term tribes. Let's secure the, the uh, Neolithic culture by accepting more Neolithic uh, migrants. And a nice cow, I'll take that any day. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There you go. We see. Yeah, she needs to feed. So she will be going into uh, the camp very soon, as soon as she's hungry. Just wait and see. Okay, maybe she was full when she came. Oh, let's see how many they got. Got 64 ropes. So when they come home, we will just lack a few to have 100. So this is good. This is really good. I think we're only going to build one long house. And then we kind of have built everything that the game has to offer. So 
for now. There will be much more. Um, yeah, for sure. As the devs implement more stuff. Create DLCs. Love this colouring. Oh, we have a new leader. No, it doesn't change. It doesn't change the age uh, age groups. Let me see. I need to make sure that I give access to... So have they been built? They have. So now it's time to remove these. Otherwise they can't really do anything inside because they cannot enter. There you go. The good thing about these cheap fences is that they're, besides being cheap, is that since they demand so little material, they quickly go up and they quickly can be taken down. I cannot take in the last one because it belongs to the connection point of the other one, so that has to stay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So how are my animals doing? Are any of them hungry? No. Well, see, that's the running out of food. So we are going a bit low on food. But that's um, a little bit hysterical because if there's one thing we have plenty of, it's food. I just uh, need to make sure that we get enough of the uh, fibers, plant fibers. Let's see. You are on 60. I could probably take away that one and that one because we have another one that is doing the, the work to get the, uh, the mud. So I'm going to force the system a little bit. They decay so fast, it's ridiculous, the mud. Look at it, we had 1500 two sleeps ago and now it's halved. But it does make sense though, it's mud and it's, it's wet. And when it's out in the open, we only have storage, open storage areas for them. So of course they will dry up. Okay, we have 63 wood planks, we, don't, we only need 80. I'm going to go to roughly 100, so that we can keep up with the, the repairs on the walkways as well. They have a fair, fair way to go though, before they need repairs. Longhouse getting nicely along. Like uh, just a few ropes. And then it's uh, all good to go. So, um, we still have a few people that sleep in the open, it's not many, but uh, whatever we lack after we've done the long house, we can just chuck up a few a few pelt huts. They can um, rotate in sleeping in different ones. They normally do that fairly well themselves. And the pelt huts are quite far away from where everything is, so they will probably pick them last to make sure that everything else is taken first. As usual, when we've been here this long, we are starting to struggle with straw. So yeah, it's the usual struggle, I'm afraid. You have to go further and further away to, to get the straw they need. And, and of course, the last step here will be to get straw. So, We'll probably have to play around with a few more 
of the groups to get more straw because we have like I think it's eight eight wheat farms we have yeah I think it's eight and we still have a low amount yep yeah. it is what it is we have a lot of animals a lot of meat so yeah this is good we don't rely too much on the wild food that's good because we're not supposed to really we're supposed to try to survive on your cultivated food but it's not easy to do it um you know without having some trickle from wild food because we do have some fishing coming you can see and we also not only have the livestock meat which is quite a big amount in itself but we also have hunters taking the uh, the prey that is around so it's difficult to do it with cultivated foods only let's uh, just have that stated immediately it's always a good idea to have a little bit of a trickle from the wild coming to camp especially the meats those are the uh, more important ones they have so high calories and of course people love them so it goes without saying you should get some yeah Okay, starting to get a few straw now. Yeah, not far off now. I've spread everything quite a bit away, haven't I? It's like a little bit everywhere. Beetroots. So we are pretty much where we need to be with regards to the longhouse. We still struggle with the straw, but no, after having been for such a long time in the same locality, um, of course, the, the, the straw from the tall grass is going to take a lot longer to get into the camp and also more workforce but you know if you can't afford that workforce you have to rely on your farms until you can't afford more workforce to be on the farms so there is a natural stop to how much you can build so this is also why it's a smart idea to to divide the houses on several types of materials so this is also why we got a ton of pelt huts. But you know, I had to give up on the reed. The, the reed was just too much of a pain to, to keep up. It's like it has a four times higher diminishing grade than anything else. And um, yeah, so that is something I will want to take up with the devs and see if we can get some kind of uh, solution to that. Uh, you should be able to keep up a few reed huts and a few storehouses within uh, at least for a, a decade and two before you're completely out. It's not like we were wasting anything, was it? Right, so I'm just gonna beautify my, my longhouse a little bit, because, um, yeah. Mm. So we've played um, 35 years. I think the first 10 or so, or was it 14? I can't quite recall, um, in the original locality. And then of course, when we got access to agriculture, we migrated and we've been here since. So uh, what I have noticed that I'm very happy with is the efficiency of the tribe. They are much more efficient. You don't really see anyone standing around for a long time, kicking the ground or just twirling around doing absolutely nothing. They are much more efficient and don't waste a lot of time. Of course, this will help us also in the the tribes that we have played for a really long time and we need everyone to do their job otherwise we will get too little stuff in due to that they now have to move further and further away from the camp to get the materials we normally had basically on a doorstep <clears throat> so i think personally i think that the devs did um did the right thing with focusing on fixes tweaks optimization and pathfinding after the release we do have new things of course like for instance the boat navigation is one and we also have other things i can't uh, remember everything on top of my head but what i find really important is that uh, we get rid of some of the complaints that has to do with the optimization for instance 
We still need more content. There is no doubt about that. We also still want, I don't know if I necessarily want it because I personally like the user interface, but there are a few players that, that say it's clunky, it's difficult to work and it doesn't quite make sense. I actually don't agree with that, but there are a few areas that is a bit backwards to get to. Uh, not everything is self-explanatory in the game and that has never changed. That has always been the, the, the thing with the ancient cities. You need to play to learn. You can't just watch the game for five minutes and then think you know it. That's a no. It's not going to happen. Um, I sometimes see some uh, reviews on Steam where they've played like four to seven hours and yeah I've learned everything and I'm just sort of like what no no you haven't you haven't even played through the bloody miso timeline what do you think you have learned you've learned nothing seriously <laughs> it, it's it's a really really uh, difficult game to get into if you start like now when there's so much added if you have followed the game and played you know regularly since it started its journey you you have a much higher um, chance of being into so much already that any new stuff will not really be overwhelming but for new people everything starting now for them they have never done anything like this before will be overwhelming and i can understand some of the frustration because of the lack of proper tutorial but that is fixed now we now have a super rich tutorial we have a good guided tutorial i would like more for the guided tutorial for instance every time you do something that you haven't done before a pop-up will come and tell you okay what is this what can you do what should you not do blah 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 blah, blah. exactly what you are doing at the moment you know it, it, just a pop-up and then you can exit out as soon as you read it or even with audio there are plenty of games to do this to teach people. Let's see if the, the devs finally will give in at some point to, to, to my suggestion, because I've said it on several occasions. We need to allow new players the opportunity to either play without using the tutorial or get all the info they need from a really rich tutorial. Right, so now we have a really good start on the guided tutorial and we have managed to get a lot of indexed content in the in-game tutorial. So many, many of them are really, really strong, but I still feel there are a few areas that need a bit more information about a few pitfalls that not all the players are aware of. For instance, one we just fixed recently is that <clears throat> if your tribe is starving, they will die in front of the dryers. Even though there are tons of food on the dryers, they will starve to death. So that has been fixed. Uh, because people did not know that you can just deselect the produce and people will help themselves from the dryers. You know, so this is one of the things, a hidden event I call it, where people need to play a lot or play long enough to test around and do things by themselves to learn all right there we go look the longhouse is done yay excellent so it can take 18 people that's quite a lot of people isn't it that more than twice as many as the roundhouse can take but of course it is of lesser value but it's still really good so we have now done 35 years, which is basically, what is it, 60 years on slow, plus plus. Um, I also would like for the devs to um, have a discontinued, how do you call it, uh, a, a biome that continues after 1500 BC. They are probably going to just add a 1500 B, um, biome for the eternity after that, but not change because they are going to add Bronze Age. I'm pretty sure that is likely to come after Ice Age, but we shall see. Ice Age is coming plus a lot of new stuff. However, I do agree with the devs that what needs to be sorted first and that they are working on and almost there are the, 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 the crushes. They need to fix the optimization which has been done really well on this patch. I have very little issues apart from the tribe is like 300 people and a lot of things added then i need to go down on the speed to get a decent 20 plus frames per second and of course content is 
still lacking for so many players to be happy. For instance, we have a lot of all the basics, but there is no embroidering of anything. There is very little uh, decorative. We lack a lot of, of types of housing, sizes, uh, structures, colors you know varied of each type and that will come i'm 100 percent sure um i also agree that the optimization still will be needing some more work even though this one is really good because i still struggle a little bit when i move fast even on speed three so i don't want to play with a fps that is on 10. i would like a minimum of 20 plus even when i'm moving on fast yeah so this is a really strong step that the devs have done so far now we just need them to do more we always want more do we not we want more yeah so i love that they have done um all the optimization and i love they've made the tribes so efficient with the pathfinding and i really really love and think that the tutorials the way they are now are 100 percent needed but when that is said i also think that tutorials need more work we need to give all players the option to either read the entire tutorial with hidden hidden events or to just play as is with not even reading the tutorial it's up to each player but we should give each player any type of option for any type of play and this is also why we have the different speeds this is why we have the different difficulties because we want to uh, uh, reach our, our bigger audience you know people want it fast and some people want it slow some want it normal so we need to try to accommodate as many as possible without losing the authenticity of the game basically so this patch plus the 0 0.3 patch that was released a few weeks ago has done a lot for the gameplay for the feel of the game so since we have worked through a lot of patches since the release of 0 0.3 and also release itself we haven't added a ton of new things there are only a few new things as the focus has been and i agree to it uh, on optimization of the game the pathfinding efficiency of tribe improving the hunters improving textures and and basically trying to get a more fluent game so we have a lot of bug fixes a lot of tweaks changes crashes freezes sorted so this is so much better than it used to be and plus adding textures adding colors increasing the efficiency of the tribe there's been a, a lot a lot of changes to gameplay and you will notice it you will see it specifically on your hunters your hunters are insane now and they are so efficient and they don't waste anything um, and we are also going to get that we are losing less meat when the animals are out in the free still after they've been killed so step by step this game is going to be fantastic and uh, i want to be a part of it i want to be a part of it every step of the way so that's it thank you so much everyone for following me I am going to do a hardcore version as well. Uh, we are, however, going to do something really fun. We are going to be island hopping in 10k BC. We will probably start in the Doggerland area and then jump back and forth to any islands we can escape to every time you're being trying to be drowned. Um, so, but you know, we might end up in Holland, we might end up in Germany, we might end up in England. Who knows? Let's find out. In the meantime, have fun and take care.